Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available Live Breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes can either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Oh Your breaker God. for tonight's oh show. Oh my God. Likes long walks on the beach, candlelight dinners in his Patrick Mahomes jersey, None are better than this one, the best quarterback in the world, though, there Patrick is. Mahomes! And staring at the messy posters over his bed, it's Common and Chev. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. Common and Chev here with Colin Rudisill. Ready for a big show tonight? We talking about practice, not the game. We talking about practice tonight, Colin. Alan that practice squad game. series. You know, Allen Iverson could be a filler one and four for all we know. That's true. Usually a secondary name in there, but man, that practice squad break is loaded. I yeah, mean, we have your boy Jalen Hurts on a sick custom authentic helmet. We have a Dan Marino authentic. Uh, our favorite quarterback, Drew Brees. We love Drew Brees, you and I. There's a J.J. Watt speed flex. There's the Mike Evans in there. LaDainian Tomlinson authentic. That series, Colin, is absolutely loaded. In fuego. Uh, what do you think about it? I'm going to get a quick drink because my voice is about to have that moment here. Okay, I got you. So, <laughs> I like it a lot. I mean, it seems like based on what they did in the uh, mid-show here, the 3 p.m. show, the best hits are still out there. I mean, that custom speed flex, Jalen Hurts, there's another speed flex, J.J. Watt that's in there, the LaDainian right. Tomlinson flash, one of the best in the game. And that Drew Brees is an amp, so. And there's a Matt Ryan, a name we don't often get in the break room. Uh, Matt Ryan helmet, something unique. Uh, so that break is going to be hot tonight. 22 boxes left. We have 10 photoed headliners and 12 total. 12 and 22 chance, better than 50%. Uh, the baseball, we still have Mookie Betts, one of the best, if not the best player in baseball, at least for this season right now. Pedro Martinez, Sammy Sosa, Billy Wagner, Paul Molitor. 5 and 12 chance at a headliner there. 1 and 4 has a lot of awesome names. Uh, we are one jersey away from a fresh jersey series. Uh, so that'll be an awesome, awesome series in the jerseys. Thirsty Thursday, buy six or more break spots in the same order, in the same cart. You get one spot for free in the jerseys. Mini Helmets, a brand new series, stacked with headliners. I can't wait to get started, Colin. How are you doing tonight? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, ready to go. Anytime we get a sick Jalen Hurts custom, you know I'm ready to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got golf going on, too. That's always good. Uh, so, that, that is fun. Real quick, Gisela says, hey, guys, don't think I got the gift card from the Chase Wheel Spin earlier. Let us see, Gisella. Uh, so, if you could double check the gift cards. Uh, and I believe the wheel was, what was it, Gisela? 51? I heard Dom say 50-something. I remember him saying that. Uh, so I don't see that sent out. So, Gisela, we'll get that sent to you. 
Uh, remind us the amount it was 50 something. So if she says 50 something dumb, I know she's not lying to us. She would know better. Or we can go back and rewatch the end of the show. Yeah, either way. 51, that sounds right. 51. Uh, Dick Butt gets, you know, 50 something. She went low 50. So yeah. 51, we're good for it, Gisela. Uh, that works for us. You are very, very welcome uh, on that gift card. Uh, money well earned for you. So, Colin, let's start our show with our. Uh, dice roll, looking for uh, six or higher on the dice roll. We got five and a one, six on the dice roll. That is the lowest, which means we can get through these uh, breaks even quicker, which is always good. Uh, heading on over to the Wheel of Names. Let's see what the chase is for our show tonight. Chase item of the day. There's a lot on there. There's a lot on there. Uh, we've got ourselves the Mini Helmets, which is actually a good chase because it's a brand new series. We did only one break uh, in that new series. I think we pulled one headliner, I believe. But everything else should be left. Plenty of big names. Deion Sanders, uh, Joe Theismann, Earl Campbell, Rano Cunningham, Tony Dorsett, Roger Craig. Uh, a lot of goodies uh, in those minis. The first break is going to be a practice squad double, though. All right, so this will be the hot break tonight. Uh, I mean, really, there's no other break where you can get uh, a speed flex for around 50 bucks, Colin. Uh, that is crazy. I mean, our practice squad breaks uh, will range anywhere from about $45 to $49. This one specifically is $46 for the single and $92 for the double. But two boxes come out. For example, could be Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott. Could be a double up. We could have, uh, what else, Matt Ryan with Drew Brees. Huh. Little quarterback double up. That's just some of the options in that practice squad break. Uh, a lot of good options to say the least. Uh, practice squad double number one. Uh, go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, for the practice squad break. As I always say, double the boxes, double the fun column, right? Mm-hmm. And Gisela should have that gift card now, by the way. All right, Gisela, check it out. That gift card should be sent your way. Thank you, Colin. Uh, more money, less problems for Gisela, right? <laughs> uh, that's always good. Always good. So let me know, folks, what you guys are thinking. And we will rock and roll here in the practice squad. 34 people watching. So a lot of folks are here already. A lot of folks are ordering already. Uh, they get it. Uh, there's business to be done here tonight. Uh, that practice squad double, by the way, we got Bobby Albrecht, Gisela Luster, Louis Tasso, J.J. Jones, Marcus Tabbert, Ryan Murray, Gisela Luster, and Chris Taft. Uh, Bobby! Bobby Albrecht is ready. Two... And 33 in the practice squad. We're talking about practice, Colin. Two and 33. Both of those should work here in this awesome, awesome break. Now, this is typically the most popular break on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, there's obviously a many nights where the diamonds take over, the vault takes over, but this is a break that it always delivers. I've never seen us have this break and it not be hot, Colin. Every single time. Every single time. Every single time in the practice squad. Uh, so two boxes coming up. We got Derek Jeter uh, and Larry Bird. <laughs> That's not bad. All right, football numbers. I say Derrick Henry's college number. Uh, two and then Tony Dorsett, 33. Or better yet, the guy you got an autograph from this weekend, Peanut Tillman at the Chicago you. Fire game. That's right. Peanut. That's awesome. Peanut Tillman. He's the man. He is the man. That's one we can agree on. Uh, so six clicks for our spots. We got three, four, five, and six. All right, Bobby Elbricht up top in the NFC North. Right below, Gisela Luster in the NFC South. Uh, we got Louis Stasso, NFC East. J.J. Jones, NFC West. Uh, we got Ryan Murray in the AFC North. Chris Taft has the AFC South. Marcus Tabard, AFC East. And Gisela Luster, you've got the AFC West. We're talking about practice. Box two coming up. Uh, two of 35. What do we got in here? Got a Jalen Hurts custom lit out there. A Dan Marino authentic. Uh, there's a Damian Tomlinson authentic, Colin. There's a lot of options. That looks like a big helmet. And we are starting with one of the best helmets in the break room. One of the biggest names in sports. Hey. How about it? Dan Marino. Let's go. Lunar Authentic, AFC East. One spot, Marcus Tabbert. 
92 bucks for a Dan Marino Authentic. Jeez. Talk about a fraction of the cost. Talk about value. Uh, talk about one of the best quarterbacks ever. When he retired, Colin, he had all the records. Passing yards, passing touchdowns. Uh, you know, these guys these days are breaking his records. His records were set in the 80s and 90s. The guys that broke his records played in the 2000s, the late 90s. A little bit different era, right? A little bit more yeah. passing. A whole lot more passing, honestly. Yeah, well, then uh, a lot of better wide receivers, I would say. That as a too, whole, right? That wide too. Receiver, boom. Who was he throwing it to? Uh, the guess, Marx Brothers. He had some good guys, but compared to some of the guys now, I can buy your point. I mean, mm -hmm. 48 passing touchdowns in 1984. Talk about a man ahead of his time. Took Peyton Manning about 20 years to break that mark. Uh, AFC East. Congrats, Marcus Tabbert, on Dan Marino. Uh, what's up, Michael Bennett? Says hello, folks. Uh, nice hit ahead, the right number, not the right spot. That's how it goes, says Bobby. That's right. Uh, I mean, your time will come, Bobby. Could come uh, right here. Baseball left, Michael Bennett. Uh, Mookie Betts, uh, top five player in the game. Uh, he, very, I mean, emphasis on extremely early, but he might be the early season MVP favorite a couple weeks in in the National League. He's crazy. Uh, Pedro Martinez, the best pitcher I saw as a kid. Sammy Sosa, one of the best power hitters ever. And then we have a left-handed closer legend, Billy Wagner, then a great hitter in Paul Molitor. Only 12 boxes left, Michael. Three photo headliners and five in all in the baseball break. Congrats, Marcus Tabbert. That is quite the get for Marcus. Dan Marino, uh, the Lunar Authentic. Uh, it just looks clean. I mean, all Dolphin stuff looks clean, but Dan Marino especially, Colin. That is crazy. Very nice. Can't go wrong. I'd spend ninety dollars on that. I would. Yeah. I'd spend ninety dollars on the Jalen Hurts. I, I'm sure you would. <laughs> Somebody you, might. Win. You're not allowed to play the breaks tonight, Colin. But Louis Stassel might have spent ninety dollars on a Jameis, Jalen Hurts. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. All right, the second box of the night, box thirty-three coming up. Thirty-three of thirty-five in the practice squad. Good luck, guys. We got a full-size helmet, but this one is a replica, so it's not the Jalen Hurts. Oh, this is really good. Uh, we got one of the better running backs in the league, a modern running back, right? Over a 1,000 yards rushing and receiving combined. Almost every year he plays, Colin. A multi-time pro bowler, it's Alvin Kamara. Uh, we got the Saints, flash, full-size replica. NFC South, Gisela Luster. Uh, congrats on your beautiful helmet right there. Uh, secondary headliner. Uh, secondary headliner. He's got the single game record for rushing touchdowns. Five of them tied for that record. Set that uh, record in on Christmas Day against the Vikings a couple years ago, Colin. Uh, five <coughs> straight Pro Bowls at one point. Uh, actually, six touchdowns, excuse me, in a rushing Yo, in nice. one game. Six touchdowns in one game. Uh, Sweet says, Gisela, sweet indeed on the Alvin Kamara full-size rep. Uh, so, good start for Gisela. And believe it or not, Colin, that is the third best hit in the NFC South. No, correct me. Fourth best hit in the NFC South. For all the guys saying the NFC South's not cool, this is good. Mike Evans is better. Obviously, Drew Brees and Matt Ryan are considerably better Absolutely. when it comes to the South. I believe that was a Thursday night game. That had Alvin Kamara six touchdown game. Yeah, and it's a championship in my fantasy league. The guy had Alvin Kamara in the championship, and he lost. I think you've said the story. And he lost. <laughs> he didn't win. I'm like, how bad did you have to manage everything else to right. lose with that performance? That's nuts. But Alvin Kamara, yeah, that flash helmet too, best silver flash in the game. In the I game. like it. With that also goes well with the face mask, mm -hmm. the silver and gold. It's uh, very very clean. So great job, Gisela. Uh, safe to say, this is, Colin, what is this? A $46 break, 92 for the double, and we just had two full-size helmets, a Flash and a Dan Marino Lunar Authentic. I mean, come on. I, I think we're running this break back, right? Feels like it. Holy cow. Uh, this practice squad is absolutely incredible, this break is. Uh, so I'll give these guys a top-to-bottom rundown. Reset the break page. Let them know about everything going on here on the page. A lot of good stuff in particular. So let's start with the practice squad. The let's practice do squad double. We are now down to just 20 boxes left 
in the whole series. Jeez. Uh, that includes uh, the Drew Brees full-size replica. That's an amp, by the way, Colin. An amp Drew Brees. Number two all-time in pass yards and passing touchdowns with the gold ink on the amp helmet. Even on a full-size rep, that's worth a lot, and that is also fantastic. Uh, you could actually double up with a Drew Brees and a Matt Ryan. Now, that's a full-size authentic former league MVP. I believe it's inscribed there on the helmet. For Matt Ryan, in my opinion, no question, a Hall of Fame quarterback. I know you agree as well. God, he's one of the most underappreciated quarterbacks of all time, if I'm being honest. Isn't that the truth? Uh, we have two speed flexes in here. J.J. Watt on a speed flex. Uh, the one of only three guys ever with three Defensive Player of the Year awards. Uh, him, Aaron Donald, who's out there in the Diamonds. And then, of course, Lawrence Taylor. Did Matt Ryan go last show? Uh oh. Did yes. Robbie forget? Robbie. Ro oh, Robbie, Robbie messed up. I did it. Robbie messed uh, up. Oh, I did it. Robbie <laughs> messed up. No, it's off it. the headliner board. It was off Congrats the headliner to Chris board. Taft. Oh. <laughs> he did win it last show. Robbie. But he was off. He was off the board. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he was. Robbie just took him off our yeah, headliner right, board. Right. So, guys, we do obviously track our headliners. We have a separate board here. Uh, I just went in here, and I saw that Matt mm -hmm. Ryan's on our board. Uh, looks like he has now taken off. Good news is you can still double up in the NFC South, Colin. Unless Robbie missed this one, too, which I don't think he did. <laughs> Robbie's great. Mike <laughs> Evans is out there. Well, I got uh, Mike <laughs> Evans, more than 10,000 career receiving yards, more than 1,000 yards every single season he's played. You can double up with Drew Brees and Mike Evans in the same spot. Uh, that's a good double up in the practice squad. I just saw Jalen Hurts in the in the 3 p.m. show, and I was like, Robbie? Speaking of Jalen Hurts. He was in the minis, though. Uh, that was the minis. Look at this helmet, Colin. That's a custom Eagle Speed Flex. Uh, I don't even know what to say about this. It's got Hurts on the helmet with his face on there. Look at it. It's got that sick visor. I mean, again, you always hear me say this. These custom lids, values on eBay differ. But anytime you get a custom lid like that, on a speed flex, I like to call it a four-digit helmet because that is easily worth a thousand dollars or more. Uh, Jalen Hurts is fantastic. And if you look closely, I'm not going to tell you what because okay. I found it on my own. I told uh, Dom about it. This thing is a limited edition, one of one. It one says of one. Right there on the lid. Oh, let me look real closely, Robbie. Robbie's paying attention. Oh, I, I pay he's attention made up to for details. <laughs> he, he, he's made up for the headline. Right there. <laughs> one of one. Look at that. Is that what you're talking about, Robbie? One of one. One of one. So the only helmet in the world. Uh, if I mean, that's what it says on there, yeah. Colin. Well, what's, somebody painted that. Like, that yeah. is a hand-painted yep. of that Jalen Hurts, which looks incredible. Mm. And, yeah, you're going to be the only person that is going to have that. In the, in the world. Game. And in as an Eagles fan, I'm extremely jealous already of whoever yeah, wins it. Colin can't enter the breaks. Uh, Robbie, Dom, Steven, these guys came out of these breaks. Uh, this is such a sweet helmet. One of the coolest helmets I've ever seen. Uh, and you can get that for $92. And forget what it's worth. That's a centerpiece item for me. Absolutely. I mean, you've got to keep that. Uh, that is so super cool. And you can also double up in that break. Dak Prescott with Jalen Hurts. Uh, two of the better quarterbacks in the league. And you can double up with the Michael Strahan as well to boot. Uh, single season sack record holder. There's actually a Phil Sims secondary headliner also in the NFC East. Is he Canadian? Did he just say a boat? A boat. A boat. A boat. <laughs> a boat. Uh, <laughs> a boat. Now, Jalen Hurts is not the only speed flex in the series either. JJ Watt with the blue visor, also a speed flex. So Jeez. this series is loaded. Loaded. Uh, it least. only costs 92 bucks in the double or 46 in the single. We only got already got three spots to go on the next yeah, one. Yeah, so, well, that's not surprising. Uh, let me fly through the rest of this because that practice squad break is coming up. Uh, speaking of flying, fastballs flying through the air. Yeah, I like uh, it. A guy that had a good fastball, so had a good curveball, a changeup, a slider, all the pitches. Former Cy Young Award winner Pedro Martinez still lurking. Uh, got a guy that smacked a lot of fastballs well over the park. Sammy Sosa, the only guy ever with three 60 home run seasons. Chicago Cubs legend, Sammy Sosa. Mookie Betts, uh, what's the saying in baseball? What do you want to be, Colin? A 5-2 player. Offense, defense, 
hitting the ball for average for power stolen bases the guy even switches positions just you know out of nowhere in the major league level that doesn't happen uh he is spectacular yeah, he's played a great second base this year and then still keeping that consistency at the plate he is a right. uh, top five player in the league no doubt uh, billy wagner paul molitor secondary headliners out there in the baseball as well uh, we got five to go in the college break only seven boxes left there's a secondary jim kelly uh, but the big name left is the drone bettis authentic i say this all the time everybody has to have at least one notre dame helmet in their collection and there is few better than drone bettis the player the name the autograph it is absolutely beautiful uh seven to go in the uh, diamond helmets still looking for the aaron donald lunar flex uh that is obviously an awesome helmet the best defensive tackle ever uh, you could also double up with the kenneth walker who is a secondary headliner in that series and there is i believe there's a uh, will anderson still left oh, no, you're right yeah, there is. Uh, will anderson Thank is you. still left the defensive rookie of the year from last year the great will anderson uh we got two to go in the one and four uh one of the best big guys ever former mvp multi-time champion hakeem olajuwon uh, on that beautiful basketball miguel cabrera triple crown winner on the bat we do have gary payton steve eiserman secondary guys in there awesome awesome break uh, so we got two left there mini helmets new mini helmet series uh so we got joe theisman Earl campbell Randall cunningham debo samuel tony dorsett Deion sanders the only headliner gone is the jalen hurts then we got tj hawkinson aj green and roger craig uh, five to go in the last jersey break six to go in the diamond single six to go in the baseball single uh so let's let's make it happen yeah you see i'd be really sad that i missed jalen hurts in the minis if i didn't know we we're gonna see one in this practice oh squad. yeah we'll see we that. might see it right here because we'll the double just it. sold out perfect uh two to go in both one and four breaks jj uh those will fill patience uh those will fill unfortunately right now a lot of breaks are going to get, you know, stolen by the practice squad, right? The, the limelight. Uh, the practice squad is hashtag stealing the show. Can you bribe them? <laughs> I mean, you, you can bribe people. I'm not bribing anybody, JJ. That's up to you. Uh, that one in four is an awesome break. It should speak for itself. JJ will Venmo everybody some money who gets yes. in there. Oh. Right, JJ? Right? right? I mean, it is two to go, Colin. I, I bet you it's going to fill up at some point tonight. You know, the night show is typically busier. Uh, I would be willing to bet both will fill up at some point tonight. Uh, so practice squad double coming up. Uh, we got ourselves Gisela Luster, Louis Stasso, Dan Scapetta, uh, Michael Bennett. Uh, we got Sean Blasco, J.J. Jones, and Michael Bennett as well. Drop me two box numbers. <laughs> yeah, that's God, not going to happen, William. What? Yeah, but not, not <laughs> gonna, that break should fill by its own. It's good enough to fill uh so there you go quad i mean he's spin. trying but that's redound a quad wheel spin's not gonna happen that's a little that's a little extreme <laughs> yeah that's very extreme it's funny though so i'll wheel spin from one to nine dollars for the last two spots says jj let's do 26 and 29 in the practice squad double quad wheel spin yeah right <laughs> i hope it's all ones shoot your <laughs> shot right Four bucks. Oh, this now this is pretty valuable. David's putting out a very valuable uh, suggestion. I, I think a lot of guys maybe don't know your nickname, Colin, but he says whoever closes the one and four gets Thor as a lifetime friend. Oh, that's, that's adorable. That's, that's, that's a kind. That's so kind. I, I like when David is nice to you. I, I, it's a different side and a side I like better personally. He's been calling me mid recently. Well, that's see? his thing. Okay. Did he call me mid again? Did he just do it? Uh, no, he he said that uh, whoever gets in the one and four gets you as a lifetime friend. He's all always complaining that we don't play games, and then yesterday we're like, hey, play with us. And he's like, no, I can't. Yeah, there you go. What a jerk. Uh, Marcus Tabber, what's up, Marcus? Winner of the Dan Marino Lunar Authentic. Uh, one and four, Miguel Cabrera, Hakeem Olajuwon, Gary Payton, and Steve Eiserman are left. Uh, but last night, Colin, I pulled a... Will Anderson authentic as a filler in the in the one and four. Wow. Uh, there's a lot of goodies in there. I would not focus on the photoed names. There's there's usually typically three series. I'll say it doesn't matter what's left. That's the diamonds, the vault, and the 
a one and four. Those three series always have awesome items in there. I, I need so, a gamer tag, JJ. Uh, they play 2K, JJ. Yeah, we play 2K. So get in the squad, JJ. Uh, six clicks. Speaking of JJ, he's got the NFC North. We got Dan Scapetta in the NFC South. Sean Blasco, the NFC East. Uh, we got Michael or Lewis Dasso, NFC West. Michael Bennett, AFC North. We got Gisela, AFC South. Michael, AFC East. And Michael's got the AFC West. Uh, so what do we got here? Box 26 coming up. 26 of 35. Michael Bennett's in the break. It's the Michael Bennett box. And then we have the 6 and 9 flip backwards. Box 29 afterwards. What do we got in here? It's a mini helmet. Mini helmets. Ooh, this is that last secondary headliner, Colin. Right. Former Pro Bowl quarterback, Super Bowl champion. It is Phil Sims on the new salute to service. It's Beckett certified with the QR code on the back. That is Sean Blasco blasting off with the Phil Sims mini helmet. Let's go, Sean. Yeah, the new school salute. I like the new one better, Colin, personally. Yeah, it's pretty. It is beautiful. Nice hit. Nice hit indeed. Yeah, somehow I doubt. I, I, you know, Colin, you're a nice guy. I bet you're very nice to David. I am very nice to David. I believe it. I'll take your side on that one. I don't have any saints to give him, so mm -hmm. I don't know what to send him back. Congrats, Sean, on Phil Sims. Uh, one more box coming up in the double box. So many full-size helmets still left. What did Robbie just set down here? Oh, okay. I got you. I was confused. Uh, so many full-size helmets left, Colin. Uh, Drew Brees, J.J. Watt Flex, Mike Evans, Ladanian Tomlinson Authentic, Michael Strahan, uh, Dak Prescott Rep, and then, of course, the Jalen Hurts Custom. So many reasons to play the practice squad, right? Uh, so, so what do we got next? Box 29 of 35. The LeGarrett Blunt Box, right? Yeah. LeGarrett. LeGarrett. Uh, we got another mini helmet here. Wow. This guy was a former Eagle at one point, Colin. LeGarrett Blunt. <laughs> it's not LeGarrett Blunt. Uh. It's on a Tennessee helmet, the freak. Oh. Javon Curse. I believe it was... 14 and a half sacks his rookie year and that is still the rookie record to sell a luster in the AFC South three-time pro bowler fantastic pass rusher uh, in the late 90s early 2000s Javon curse the freak sick one of the best nicknames out there right oh for sure uh, so the Tennessee lid looks fantastic tomorrow, have a good day Bye. Robbie we'll see you tomorrow buddy uh, it was, in fact, 14 and a half, 1999. Look at you. For Javon Curse. Getting your stats. Right? Uh, nice get on the new STS, says David. Yes, sir. I love the new STS. Good job, Gisela, on Javon Curse. So, what just happened, Colin? We just pulled two filler hits, which are pretty good, by the way. But that means the headliner odds just got better. Uh, we are now down to 18 boxes left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photo headliners. Almost a 50% chance at a photo headliner. Uh, we have two speed flexes out there. And all the headliners left are either full size authentics and reps, minus the Devontae Adams jersey. So that means you should be jumping right back into the practice squad, mm -hmm. right? And almost a 50% chance we're pulling one. I'd go back in that double personally. Yeah, right. I'd want, uh, I want to get the Hertz and the Prescott or Strahan double up potentially. Yeah, I mean. What if you get two spots in a double box break? Uh, you look at the Jalen Hurts custom helmet and you look at the J.J. Watt speed flex. You know, those two combined are somewhere in the ballpark of two grand. You know, values differ probably more than two grand value wise. Even if you want to say a little bit less than two grand in the ballpark of two grand on those two flexes combined, you can get. You buy two spots in that double box, Colin. You know, you pay, what, 180 bucks, and you get the NFC East and the AFC South, and you get yourself 2,000-ish plus value of helmets. That's insane. It's ridiculous. That's absolutely okay. insane. A one of one that Jalen Hurts, we have learned, Colin. One of one. One of one. I mean, that, that thing alone... 
could maybe go for two grand somewhere, right? I mean, if you find the right person, uh, how much is the helmet worth? However much someone's willing to pay for it, right? Yeah, I mean, we've always speculated on helmets before being one of ones, uh, but never knew for sure. Yeah. This one, the artist of that helmet literally said, I'm only making one of these. This is it. Yeah. You will be the only person in the entire world that has it. Ultimate autographs, the only place in the world for that helmet. And that's not a lie either. That's not an no, exaggeration. That's the truth. It's not a lie. Uh, you'll see it here on the Jalen Hurts helmet, which we're only three spots away from breaking next. Uh, first off, I can't. This is the best. Like, how did someone paint his face so accurately, Colin? Man, people are so talented. The man. the Canton Hall of Fame needs to get that uh, that guy to do busts. I would say, Colin. <laughs> yeah. Look, this is how you know it's a good lid. Right. The biggest cowboy fan I know says it's a nice helmet. Wow. Yeah, that thing is nuts. It's getting the William Maynard stamp of approval. That's got to be something. And William Maynard in particular, Colin. I, William Maynard is, you know, an old school guy. He doesn't always go for the custom helmets like everybody else does. He's like, I don't. that's too much for me. This one, if it's got the William Maynard stamp of approval, you know something's going on, right? Mm -hmm. I just love that. You can literally show it off on Facebook or whatever to your friends, and they'll be like, where can I get one of those? Oh. You can't. Well, this one does not have the William approval. We're talking about the Merino. Ah, well. <laughs> but that's okay. The Merino William. one is sick, too. Come on, man. You ruined our thing. <laughs> ah, tough. Uh, we are sold out, Colin. We so. are sold out. I think the helmets are speaking for themselves. He says, sorry. That's okay, William. No problem. <laughs> he said, sorry. Um, the, there's a lot of great helmets in our room, Colin, that sometimes uh, it is easy to get confused on just which one we're talking about, right? Yeah. It's a fast-moving show, too. Yeah, it is. We go subject to subject, man. Subject to subject. Chris Taft, Jim Stasek, J.J. Jones, Marcus Tabbert, Ryan Glover, and Gisela Luster. Our third practice squad double. Uh, let me know. Like I said, eight headliners left. Seven out of the eight are either full-size reps or full-size authentics. No matter what happens, Colin, we cannot pull all seven of the full-size helmets in this break. So the guys in this break, you better jump in the next one too, Colin, right? I would. Yeah, uh, definitely a recommendation. So if you've got numbers, let us let us have it. And we just did which ones? 26 and 29. I forgot to get those off. So one second, guys. 26 and 29 are going off the ticker as well. Got that ticker nice and updated for everybody. I think the first brick I do take them, did take them off, 2 and 33. About 15 and 20. 15 and 20? All right. How about uh, two of my favorite numbers for football players? Brian Dawkins. Patrick Mahomes. And Colin? Brian Dawkins. Mm, I do like Brian Dawkins, but Brian Dawkins? not who I'm thinking of. It's the only 20 that matters. So. Number 20, football. He runs the ball. He's really good. I don't care. Barry Sanders. No. <laughs> All right. Fair it's enough. Only one 20 that matters. Thomas Jones. Yes. Former <laughs> Chicago Bear, number 20. And a former Chief. You probably love him. I do love Thomas Jones. Uh, he is awesome. Uh, but no, I'm talking about Barry Sanders, to be exact. Yeah, I guess he qualifies. Yes. Ed Reed was 20. Gosh dang it. It's a good number. I guess there's a few that matter. There's a few that matter. Robbie loves his chocolate and chips. Robbie! I'm going to call him right now, so you got to go back here. But... No, I want to sing a two-page uh, essay in the Break Room Team channel, Colin. <laughs> That's what I want. Uh, Gisela's got the NFC North. Marcus in the NFC South looking for Drew Brees. Jim Stasek in... Oh, Jim. 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 Jalen Hurts. Uh, beautiful custom speed flex. Chris Taft in the NFC West. J.J. Jones, the AFC North. Chris Taft, the AFC South. Ryan Glover, AFC East. And Ryan in the AFC West. Let's see here. NFC East. Uh, Prescott, Hurts, Strahan. Our guy Jim can win two of those three potentially, Colin. That wouldn't be bad. Uh, we got Chris Taft in the AFC South looking for the Watt speed flex. Ryan's got the Devontae Adams spot. And then the NFC South, Marcus Tabbert already got a Marino. Now he wants a Breeze next. Uh, or Mike Evans next. Right, that would um, be nice. More Hall of Famers, right? A lot of good options here in the UA Live break room. 
At box 15, coming up. The Patty Mahomes box. That's a, it is fitting. It is a quarterback. A former Pro Bowl quarterback with the Browns. Uh, he was a Cowboy backup at one point as well. One of the nicest autographs for me. Nice and big. Bernie Kozar. Bernie. Uh, hey, Bernie. Uh, that's the AFC North. J.J. Jones. Uh, that is JSA certified on the Bernie Kozar. Another one of those Miami Hurricane quarterbacks uh, back in the college days. Uh, as our guy Don Pellegrini would say, feel the burn. Bernie oh Kozar. I wonder how many, like, uh... Fantasy football names were like Weekend at Bernie's. Yes. You know, some sort of play on that. Bernie Kozar. I love it. Uh, nice little custom jersey for the Brownies. The Brownies. All right, JJ. The plot is continuing to thicken. In what? In this in this break? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I agree. I mean, eight. Eight and 17 now. Chance at a photo headliner, Colin. Gracious. Odds are getting better and better and better in the practice squad. And this is the time to talk practice here in the UA Live break room, right? Mm -hmm. It is the time to talk practice. This is uh, rightfully so the hot break tonight. An awesome, awesome series uh, with a lot of awesome things left. Williams got the rep to go with that if you're interested, JJ. So there you go. William got a Bernie Kozar rep helmet, sounds like. Surprised William's not keeping that, because Kozar was at one point a cowboy, Colin. And William is the modern-day Mr. Cowboy, not Bob Lilly, William Maynard. The modern-day Mr. Cowboy. All right, 20's coming up next. Because it's a Browns lid. Okay, that's fair. He only wants the cowboy lid. It can't be a former cowboy player. It has to be on the cowboy lid, specifically. Makes sense. All right, what do we got here? Got a full-size helmet, Colin. Full-size replica. We got a headliner. The hottest guy in the break room today so far, Marcus Tabbert with Mike Ooh. Evans. Nice. Uh, the Lunar Replica tied for the league lead in receiving touchdowns this last season. Mike Evans and Tyree Kill uh, top the NFL, and this is one of the most consistent players, really common in all of sports. I mean, uh, NFL uh, Pro Bowler five times every single season. He's played, he's had more than 1,000 yards. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 seasons, Colin. 10 1,000 yard receiving seasons. Uh, that is an NFL record. 10 straight. Not even Jerry Rice did that. It's crazy. He's like probably, we always talk about Keenan Allen as one of the most like underrated receivers of all time. I think Mike Evans is up there. I mean,. I, he, I just think it's overlooked too much. It is. Justin Jefferson's a little more flashy, so is Tyree Kill. It's, he it's just shows up for work. Steve Largent, Mike Evans, James Lofton, <laughs> James, James Lofton, Lofton. <laughs> uh, and Keenan Allen, probably the most underrated guys of all time for the receiver spot. Uh, yeah, Keenan Allen, I would even just say in the generation, Mike Evans has to be looked at as literally one of the best wide receivers that ever played the game. I think it's one of those where he has been a top 10 receiver every single season he's played he hasn't been top five every year so a lot of times if you're like the seventh best guy people are like oh whatever mm -hmm. but if you're like the seventh eighth best guy for 10 years in a row it adds somebody. up right because there's very few guys that are able to do that at that level nobody uh, that many years straight nobody statistically nobody one because yeah. it's the first guy to have you know 10 straight with a thousand yards uh best 180 bucks spent tonight says marcus tabbert yeah. So far. Well, no, I don't even think so, Marcus. Do you know what you want earlier? Did you got the Dan Marino. Does he know? Oh, I guess because it adds up 90, 92. So 180 uh, for both doubles. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, you are the winner tonight. We're math I mean, now. yeah, you take the Mike Evans, you take the Dan Marino helmet, you add them up. They're worth more than a thousand bucks, Colin, and you got it for 180 bucks. Yeah, it might, uh, you know, there's still more out there, though. Right? This could just be the beginning. Mm -hmm. There is that Jalen Hurts, the Drew Brees, uh, the Watt Flex. There's a lot of great stuff left. Congrats, Marcus Taber. You are absolutely cooking in the break room tonight. Just yeah. cooking. What's he making? 
I might um, be interested. He's making memorabilia magic. That's what he's making, Colin. I've never had that before. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess it's because you haven't played more Ultimate Autographs. That's true. You're not allowed to play. I'm not allowed to play. Yeah, I have the, never once played. The best kind of food. Steven played once. His first week on the job till we told him he couldn't play. That is so We're like, funny. Steven, that is illegal. <laughs> you cannot play if you're part of the team. Oh, uh, God. It was funny. Good times. Until JH is pulled. Until Jalen Hurts is pulled. Well, with your luck right now, Marcus, I would say jump right back in the next one, and he could be yours as well. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, what we say, when you're hot, you're hot. Uh, don't walk away while you're hot. Like, if you lose a break or two, you want to walk away on top, you can. Good news for him is he's already up so much tonight, he could afford to lose two breaks, maybe three breaks, and he's still up on the day. So when that happens, maybe you walk away then, Colin. I get it. You want to feel like... You're on top, but when you're this hot, you got to ride the hot wave, right? I would, at this point. Ride the streak, baby. Ride the streak. Uh, Dan Marino and Mike Evans for Marcus Tabbert. Is Jalen Hurts next? I mean, heck, even Drew Brees is an awesome uh, helmet. J.J. Watt is an awesome option. And there's an abundance of awesome options uh, in that practice squad break. The casual J.J. Watt speed flex we're not even talking about. Oh, with the blue visor. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. Well, we're four to go, Colin. So that break is coming up here shortly. It is coming up here real shortly. And I am real pumped about it. I'll tell you that, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to see Jalen. Yeah, you'll see him tonight, Colin. <laughs> it is, what, 642? You know, we'll be on till 9, 30, 10, 11. We'll see. Uh, you'll definitely see that Jalen Hurts in. Given how fast the break is going, you might see Jalen Hurts in five minutes. But even if, let's just say, it goes down to the last box, this series is going to be gone in the next hour. I mean, by the time 8 o'clock is here, at least every headliner is going to be gone, right? There could be, like, two, three boxes left. All the headliners are gone. The only way there's any of this series left, is that's the scenario. But all the headliners... We'll be gone in the next hour. Better hurry up and get them while you still can, right? Yep, two to go. So, uh, 907. Uh, that link is dropped there by Colin. Thank you so much, Colin. Uh, that is the practice squad link. And you better hurry up. Now, the good news, once that practice squad sells out, we're going to repost a new break, right? Mm -hmm. uh, don't have to wait long. And like I said, seven headliners left. We can't pull all seven in this break. Uh, no. We also have a single in the practice squad, too. Uh, so that one is seven to go. So even if this one sells out, you may consider the single box as well. We do got to do at least one, Colin, because it's been bought into. Right. Which you would time out. Actually, no, I wouldn't time out, technically. We've done, what, three doubles? So we have 16 left now, Colin. Yeah, we got to do two more singles. So. Or a triple. We could do a triple, seven and sixteen chance, or a quintuple. <laughs> we could do we could do whatever these guys want. Uh, I know we're for sure doing that double though because it's sold out. Y'all, uh, practice squad double number four is on the way next. That's not surprising. Not surprising at all. Uh, go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. Uh, that is William, Robert, John, JJ, Marcus, and Pat. Uh, let me know. Two boxes for our fourth practice squad. We got the box number mojo man himself, John Sutter. He wants one and 16. Thank you, John. One and 16. One going off the ticker, 16 as well in the practice squad. We got the Warren Moon and Joe Montana box numbers. Practice squad doubled number four. Good luck, folks. Let's see what we got going here in the practice squad. Got five and six clicks. A couple of lunars hanging out. All right. It's a lunar kind of night. It's almost like we had a lunar eclipse or something. Oh, well, no, that was a solar eclipse. It's a little different, Colin. Bad reference. Uh, Marcus Tabbert up top in the NFC North. The guy's looking to be hot still. Uh, John Sutter's got the NFC South. 
And we got Pat Rich in the NFC East looking for Hertz, William McPherson, NFC West. Pat's got the AFC North. Robert Elbrick, the AFC South. JJ Jones, AFC East. And Marcus Tabbert in the AFC West. We got 1 and 16 in the practice squad. JJ says back in the AFC South. It's time for JJ. You got the AFC East, actually, JJ Jones. <laughs> it's Robert who's got the AFC South. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, but nice try. Take it back. Take uh, it back. He says, just kidding, can't read. <laughs> that is why I, I list off the divisions in case people can't read. <laughs> that uh, that way sometimes. Yeah, that does help a little bit. Man, the South is hot tonight. The NFC South. We got Moose. Ah. Moose and Muhammad. Uh, former Chicago Bear wide receiver. This is him on the Panthers. Uh, in 2004, I think it was, Colin, uh, led the league in receiving yards. Uh, Moosin Muhammad on the beautiful custom jersey. Box number to Mojo, John Sutter. Congrats on your Muhammad jersey. Nice. Uh, fantastic wide receiver. Uh, you know, Jake DeLome, Rex Grossman. Not the best quarterbacks throwing him the ball, but, man, he simply delivered for... Many years. Uh, 04 led the league in receiving yards and receiving touchdowns, Colin. Also led the league in catches in 2000. He's got the longest touchdown catch in a Super Bowl, 85 yards. More than 11,000 career receiving yards. An absolute beast, Moussin Muhammad. Cool. I like his touchdown celebration. He like was going in between the legs. Yeah. Like oh, I love fun. it. Yeah. I love it. That guy was cool. Uh, so, thank you, says John. How about a Tom Brady deflated football filler? I, I doubt that would happen, uh, but I always love the creative ideas you come up with, JJ, for filler hits. But the word Tom Brady and filler don't really <laughs> go together. Even on a deflated football. Yes. <laughs> I think that would still be a headliner. <laughs> that would definitely be a headliner. Yeah, that would Alan. still be a headliner. <laughs> the autograph alone would be worth, you know, a couple thousand dollars, at least over a thousand dollars. I mean... The Tom Brady minis go for like seventeen, eighteen hundred retail value. So the the autograph alone is worth a thousand bucks. You could sign anything, and it's worth a lot. Another April Fool's item. Yeah, we're we're adding them on there, right? Okay, he's building the series for us. Now, if we can just find the items. <laughs> yeah, that's something tells me that Tom Brady does not sign a lot of deflated footballs. Probably not the best moment of his illustrious career, right? He probably does sign a lot of deflated footballs, actually. Because most of them at signings are already not a little inflated bit. at all. So then all you have to do is have him sign that and then just put a little bit of air in it and you're good to go. I guess technically that might be true, Colin. Mm -hmm. But that's not the gimmick that he's going for, I guess. No, it's not. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think he would ever sign a football somebody gave to him that's... Yes. He probably would, but it's not like... I don't know. I feel like he wouldn't. I actually don't want to bring up his name. I was going to say it's not even like OJ with... You know, yeah. signing gloves or whatever. Yeah, he did else. pass away today, OJ Simpson. Yeah, he did. That was uh, kind of a crazy thing. I know he wasn't in good health. It wasn't a shocker, but still, 76. I guess in these days, uh, not that old. Uh, we got ourselves 16 coming up next. For a fee, I think he would do it, right? I mean, these days, he's not taking pay cuts. You know, you look at the autograph value, look at the. Fox football contract. Tom Brady wants that money. Uh, we got a mini coming up next. Uh, it's an eagle, Colin. Nice. Uh, we got the Kelly Green. Beautiful. Former Pro Bowl wide receiver for the Eagles. He's quick. He's Mike Quick. Yeah, Mike Quick, baby. NFC East, Pat Rich. Uh, congrats on your Mike Quick mini. Love it. Another practice squad break. Another break of Fillers. Uh, that now puts us what? 22 minus 8. That's 14, Colin. 14 boxes left. Seven headliners left. Six full size helmets. Two speed flexes left uh, in the practice squad. Lordy, lordy. Uh, so come and get it. We got Ron Jaworski's boy on the table. Mike Quick, receiver for Jaws, the Polish rifle. Uh, so there you go. It's nice. I like. I love the Kelly Green for the Eagles. I mean, right. I gotta get me one of them. And definitely for me, it's the queen. You know, cleanest look, the best looking Eagle lid. 
Unless we're doing custom one of ones, right? Yeah, like, I was about to say, like, I can think of one that's better. <laughs> I, I don't really count the chromes and customs. I just consider it, like, you know, standards, lunars, flashes, eclipses, the stuff we see fairly often, right? Yeah, what, I guess, what would you call it? Licensed? I don't even know. What? The, like the, the specific kinds, like, this is, lunar helmet is a type of, like, a Redell helmet. Yeah. It's like a licensed helmet. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. I call it beautiful. Either. I mean, I mean, all our helmets really are. They're all uh, top of the line, fantastic lids uh, here in the break room. So we'll put this mic quick away, and you better be quick to get in the next break, because uh, the practice squad is coming off the board here, very, very, and I do mean very soon, Colin. I saw that it was eight away. Now it's six away. Now it's four away. And soon it'll be none away, right? Mm -hmm. and that's how it goes. Two to go now in the practice squad. Uh, the fifth double box break. So let's make it happen, guys. Uh, we had that sick Marino. Also have this nice Mike Evans. Uh, some of the nice hits so far in the practice squad. I got to say the Buccaneer. Every, anything Buccaneer, their, their stuff looks clean too. Oh, yeah. Very, Absolutely. very clean. Our matey. Our matey. <laughs> that's what they say. That's that's what we went with. There. That's what we went with, Colin. We went with our our matey. <laughs> One it. to go in the practice squad double box. One to go. Someone finally got in the single. Six to go in the single yeah, now, Gisella Colin. got into both. She's actually got both spots in that single, so. It's actually really smart. It's a good, you know, Strat. strategy because if you're in both breaks... You at least give your ch yourself a chance to know that the Hertz will come out. Then you had a chance to be in that break, right? Because, you know, someone might buy out that single, buy out the next double. I always say be quick and get in both the single and double. That way you have a chance for the helmet no matter what, right? Right. Uh, that is, that's the play. The plan, the play, and that's the way to do it. And we're sold out, Colin. Yo. That was quick. Of course. That was very quick. It's like there's a custom 101 speed flex out there. Must be. Uh, go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. Low key, I love that LaDainian Tomlinson flash authentic, too. That thing is sick. Oh, heck yeah. One of the best flashes in the game. One oh. of the best running backs in the game. Absolute beast. Gisela, Alex, JJ, John, William, Gisela, and Pat. Uh, let me know two box numbers, guys. First come, first serve for the fifth practice squad. Double box break. Double the boxes. Double the fun as always. All right, John wants John Elway's number and MJ's number. Seven and 23 here. Uh, both of those going off the ticker of the practice squad. So after this break, Colin, that'll get us to 12 left. Is that correct? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, ticker has twelve left. I'm seeing thirteen. You're seeing thirteen left. Oh wait, no. Twelve? Did you count the two we're getting? No, there's the baseball thing's right by it. So. So there's twelve left. That is correct. That is correct. And the ticker has twelve numbers on it. So. Our ticker is right then. So those are all the right boxes, guys, in the middle of this wild, wild chase in the practice squad. Right, good luck, folks. What do we got next, Colin, here in the practice squad break? We got four, five, and six clicks. All right, William Losey up top in the NFC North. Pat Rich right below in the NFC South. J.J. Jones, the NFC East. John Sutter, the NFC West. J.J. Jones, AFC North. Alex Dreyer, AFC South. Gisela Luster, AFC East. And Gisela Luster in the AFC West. Practice squad, double box. We got seven. And we got 23 here in the practice squad. Still looking for the custom... Hurts one of one speed flex, Colin. Where is it? This is definitely not it here. 
Uh, we have box number mojo again for John Sutter, though. It's a fantastic running back, former Niner, former Eagle. This is him on the Seahawks. Run, Ricky, run, Ricky Waters. Nice. Multi-time Pro Bowler, former Super Bowl champion, more than 10,000 career rushing yards, JSA certified. Congrats, John, on the Ricky Waters jersey. I don't know if I've seen him on the Seahawks yet. I have, and it's it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. That's the Retro throwback. Seahawk. He says, thank you. You're welcome, John. Thank you so much for participating and, and getting yourself the dub. Yeah, I love the Retro Seahawk. The, sort of like the green and blue stripes on those jerseys. And their helmets are very, very cool. Got some good backs in Seattle history. Ricky Waters, Sean Alexander, Marshawn Lynch. Now, of course, it's Kenneth Walker. They have a nice little tradition there at their running back spot, Colin, yeah. don't they? And we get all those guys. In the yeah, we do. Room, and we have Kenneth in those diamonds, as we speak, by the way. Hopefully, we get to see him tonight as well. All right. We keep on skipping these full-size helmets, Colin. I don't I, it's kind of crazy, right? It's getting a little spooky. It's getting spooky. The odds are getting a little bit too good. They're getting too good. Uh, come and get those helmets while you still can, right? Because they, they're due to come out sooner or later, right? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. We are, what, now? What are we at, 12? 12. 13 left if we count the one we're about to break. And we got seven headliners, Colin. Oh, boy. And six full-size helmets. I'd probably get in that next double because it's going fast. Yeah. If you want in. And we can't pull both speed flexes in the next box because you can't do two speed flexes in one single box. They simply can't fit. Nope. It's, it's a size issue, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> and this is definitely not a, a big... It's not a full-size helmet. I usually don't give it away, but as soon as I felt it, I was like, let me help these guys out to get those orders even quicker, Colin, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a mini helmet, another mini... And we got ourselves a former Pro Bowl tight end, five-time Pro Bowler, three-time Super Bowl champion with the Dallas Cowboys. It's Jay Novacek. Jay Novacek. On the Flash Mini. JSA certified. It's uh, Jay for JJ. JJ Jones with Jay Novacek. Pride of Wyoming, like Josh Allen. Big-time Wyoming college star, Jay Novacek. All right, so JJ got one of his J's there. Now he needs to get back in and get both of his J's. JJ, JJ Watt. Watt. Uh, so, uh, obviously, you know, a lot of glory for those Cowboys Super Bowl teams in the 90s went to Aikman, Irvin, and Smith. But Novacek was the safety blanket for Aikman. Uh, caught big passes when you need him to. Also did a good job run blocking as well. A uh, big part of those 90s Dallas Cowboy teams. All the Cowboy fans out here, they know all about Jay Novacek. I promise you that, Colin. Sure. And there you go. And JJ said, fly, Eagles, fly, it's time. Uh, he didn't get the Eagle lid. <laughs> Quite the opposite. <laughs> but uh, it, it is better than taking a now, though. I'll say oh, that. Oh, 100%. Uh, I know he had a couple of spots in that break, but we had, what, five, six people in that break? We only had two winners. I'd rather be one of the two winners than uh, going home with nothing, right? Sure. I mean, who, who wouldn't? That's why you play the game. That's so, why we're all here, to win memorabilia. What's up, fellas, says Chris. What up, Chris? Uh, chasing that Jalen Hurts. And JJ says, sorry, Colin, I'm out. Expensive mini helmet. I feel you, dog. That's all right, JJ. Play when you can, brother. And that's what we always tell the guys. Play when you can. Uh, so, uh, by the way, the shot, man. we do have Chris in here. Uh, I got a question for you, Chris. What are your thoughts on Dak Prescott? Because Cowboys fan base is very divided on him. Now, he's also one of the guys left in the practice squad. Uh, big love, boys. Have a great rest of the show, says JJ. MOBN 1 and 4, hopefully better to me. All right, good luck, JJ. And we'll see you when you see you. Thank you so much, brother. Always good to have you in the break room. Drop the gamer tag, man. Get in right. the 2K squad. Chris says they're paying him too much, so... I take it doesn't want him to get paid next time around. Because if you think they're paying him too much now, it's going to cost even more. I just, uh, listen, to each their own, but my God, the quarterback market 
goes up and up and up exponentially. He That's tax, how it is. Dax on a pretty good contract, in my opinion. I mean, he he's not a top five highest paid quarterback. He's like seventh or eighth or something, and that's probably right about where he is on the best quarterback list. Did lead the league in, in passing touchdowns this last season, Dak Prescott. He's going to have to – he should get paid, in my opinion, but that's just me. That's just me. He I, should get paid. I agree with you 100%. I'm not sure if uh, Dallas fans agree with that, though. Mm-mm. Uh, they, they judge him based on the playoffs. It's what, what it takes to be a Dallas Cowboy okay. quarterback. Uh, they don't care about how great you are in the regular season – uh, they don't even care about how good the numbers look in the playoffs. They care about the W stats, Colin. I, I understand. That, but I, I don't know. entirely agree with it, but that's kind of what they're thinking. I'm kind of like, I, I look at it like with Illinois basketball. A lot of people are upset with Brad Underwood because he never could make it to the second weekend. But it's like, there was a, about a 10-year stretch. Illinois basketball didn't even touch the tournament. I'm happy to be a shoe into the tournament well, every year right now. Kentucky fans had John Cow in 15 years reach four final fours win a championship and uh, i think in a 10-year span he had at least seven trips to at least elite eight and they ran him out of town so that's how sports work you gotta win baby you gotta win uh speaking of winning we got a winner in the break room dustin rose he wants 24 and 25 both of those going off the uh the ticker there dustin thank you for the box calls we go on side by side 24 and 25. Only four to go now in that practice squad single box. And the next double is open, guys. Hurry up and get your spots. Because we're talking about practice here. These boxes are a little bit different. <laughs> how so? I mean, they're the same, but they're, you see how this one's a little wider? Oh, strange. <laughs> I don't know the deal is with that. But. Strange. Could it be because they might have a flex in it? Ooh. We'll find out. Colin. We use wider boxes for flexes. I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I don't. You know, do the production here, so I don't know. Uh, but maybe. Now we got five and six clicks here. Now we got Dustin Rose in the NFC North and the NFC South. Dustin, you got that spot of Drew Brees. NFC East, Pat Rich hoping to get rich. With the Jalen Hurts, Dustin Rose, NFC West, Pat Rich, AFC North, Dustin, AFC South. Looking for the J.J. Watt speed flex. Uh, Pat's got the AFC East, and Gisela's got the AFC West in our sixth practice squad double box. I mean, the odds are almost too good now. What, 12 boxes? Uh, counting these two, seven headliners left. I'd be shocked if we don't see at least one in this break, Colin, right? I mean, mathematically, we should see one headliner and one filler. That's that's what the math says, Colin. Math is not always necessarily right, though, right? All right, this is a full-size rep. And this is nice. This is very nice. Uh, how about it, Pat? Michael Strahan on the amp. Uh, this is a beautiful full-size a uh, replica amp helmet, Michael Strahan, the single season sack record guy. TJ Watt just tied his record a few years ago. Colin, former defensive player of the year, multi-time pro bowler, Super Bowl champion. Uh, he's obviously Hall of Famer, and he's all over television, right? Fox Football, Good Morning America. He's got a game show. I think multiple game shows even. Uh, he's everywhere, Michael Strahan. Uh, that's great. the NFC East. That is Pat Rich. Congrats on your straight hand full size helmet, Pat. Beautiful. Love that. I might put it away. I mean, it, this I is. I have to. Because, I, I mean, it's a. A Breeze would beat it. A Watt Flex would beat it. Tomlinson Authentic. The Hertz Custom. Marina already beats it. Uh, I'll make your life easy and put it away now, Colin. Because it is definitely table worthy at the moment, but. This moment is going to change real fast. Yeah, that moment's going to pass yeah. very fast, I feel like. Straight hand is ubiquitous, says Bob. And I, I just That's a hard word to say. Ubiquitous. Great word today. Bob Boulay with the... Good word choice, Bob. Intelligence. Uh, good job, Pat. Michael Strahan. Pat's been balling hard since Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday he came in the room. He's been getting a lot of sweet stuff. 
And very early in his break room career here at UA, right? That's how you do it, man. That's how we do, baby. And that is how we do. All right. We got another helmet coming up here. This one feels a little bit heavier. Oh, boy. Is it a speed flex? Is it an authentic? I think it's one of the options. I mean, we got a lot of good ones left. Jalen Hurts, one of one custom speed flex. The JJ Watt speed flex. LaDainian Tomlinson flash authentic. Could this be one of those helmets? Because it does feel heavy, Colin. What do we got here? It looks heavy. It is definitely an authentic. Oh, I love this one. Flash authentic. Ooh. LaDainian Tomlinson. One of the best backs of all time. Hall of Fame 17 inscription. The single season total touchdown and rushing touchdown record. He's got the second most rushing touchdowns ever behind just Emmett Smith. Probably a top five running back of all time. If not top five, he is right there. Gisela Luster, AFC West, the Tomlinson Flash Authentic. That is fantastic. Love this lid. One of the best flashes in the game with the yellow and the uh, light blue. Incredible helmet. It's beautiful. It's uh, beautiful. This was my brother's favorite player growing up. Mine too. Uh, definitely one of my favorites as a kid as well. LaDainian Tomlinson. Uh, what a beast. It is What pretty. a beast. It is pretty, Gisela. And it's yours. Says, Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. And this is... Honestly, might be even my favorite hit of the show. I know the Marino, you know, it's a quarterback. Might be worth a little bit more. I only say this is my favorite because I pulled two Marinos yesterday, Colin. Ah. <laughs> so, and they're both, one was a Lunar, one was a Lunar custom lid. But Tomlinson, this is fantastic. My favorite hit hasn't come out yet. Well, I, we know <laughs> that. And I will say the Hurts would be my favorite too. Because it's just so cool. It's just so cool looking. I also really like Jalen Hurts. I just don't try to hype him up as much around you, but I'm a big fan of his. <laughs> He's an awesome guy, awesome leader, awesome you don't you know, person. <laughs> I don't want it going through your head. But I do really like Jalen Hurts. He's one of my favorite quarterbacks, and I think he is a top five quarterback in the league personally. Uh, I think that it's not easy playing injured. He gets back healthy. He'll have another MVP level season because he was. Well, let's hope so. He was healthy the first half of this last year, and he was on an MVP candidate trajectory up until the injuries caught up with him. Yeah, you could tell near the end mm -hmm. he was not moving nearly as well as he usually does. Well, the practice squad double is certainly moving. It's gone. It, it is fully healthy, and the seventh practice squad is already off the board. We are one to go in the single, by the way. All right, so that's coming up too. Uh, and he's from Bama. Roll Tide, says Heather. That's right, Heather. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Uh, got a lot of great Bama guys in the break room. And that's speaking of good mentality. He lost his starting quarterback job at Alabama, but he never lost his spirit. Uh, Jalen Hurts. Hard to keep up with Purdy. Wow. Purdy's good. We're going Purdy. Purdy's real good. He's out here. He, he's, he's a great quarterback, Colin. He's great. Great. He is. He's good. He's. I don't know if there's a if there's a between pretty good and great. He's somewhere in the middle there. He's good. Uh, he's more than good. He's good. Uh, John, Marcus, Gisela, Chris, Pat, and Dustin. I need two box numbers. Uh, we got ten and thirty here from John Sutter. All right, ten going off the ticker, and thirty as well. Thank you, John. That'll work. His team is great. <laughs> I think he's pretty darn close to great. I mean, I think he's earned a lot, in my opinion, Colin. He has more passing yards than any other Niner quarterback ever has had in a season. I know it's the passing era, but think about all the great Niner quarterbacks, all the great Niner receivers. I mean, Rice, Owens, and no one's had more yards than Brock Purdy did this last season. And he took him to the Super Bowl and played decent in that game, by the way. Uh, but he is one of the most, like... He played a good first half. Polarizing uh, guys as far as quarterbacks in the league. I'm more on that great side, but great really is a, is a word that has to be earned. Uh, so 
he's very close to great. I'll put it that way. He's a lot closer to great than he is to good, in my opinion. I'd say he's a top 15 quarterback. He's not a top 10 quarterback. Uh, by any means. I would put him in my top 10. Uh, but, again, I think the difference between the 10th and 15th best quarterback isn't that big. But that's another debate for another day. Uh, let's see that Jalen Hurts here today. He is definitely top 10 quarterback in the National Football League. Most definitely. Uh, we got five and six clicks. Dustin Rose in the NFC North. Uh, we got Pat Rich, the NFC South, NFC East. gisella has got the NFC West. Chris Abermatz, the AFC North. John, AFC South. Gisella AFC East. And Marcus, AFC West. So, I mean, I haven't thrown him in the Hall of Fame yet, William. Uh, I don't do that based on one season. Uh, we do got to see more longevity from him, but... You know, every season he's played so far, he's been pretty darn good, uh, Mr. Brock Purdy. Let's see a Brock Purdy filler here. That's what I want to see, Colin, right? Like a Brock Purdy mini? That would be like a filler in the practice squad. Yeah, right. That would be fun. On this one, this has been a ridiculous practice squad. Yeah, right? With the best hits still out there. It's crazy. Uh, box 10 is coming up. Oh, wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. Maybe it's not quite as good as the other two. But it's Marcus's third headliner tonight good in this Lord. series. One of the best receivers in the National Football League, Devante Adams. Speaking of earning it, led the league in touchdowns with the Packers, led the league in touchdown catches with the Raiders, uh, multi-time Pro Bowler, multi-time All-Pro. I say this a lot, and I do mean it, Colin. The last six, seven years, he's overall been the best receiver in the National Football League. And he is not the fastest guy, but man, is he one of the best route runners in the history of the game, Devontae Adams. Absolutely. Man. Uh, and off year, more than 100 catches, more than 1,100 receiving yards, eight touchdowns without a quarterback, six-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro. I uh, love this hit, Marcus Tabbert, Devontae Adams. Yeah, that's like, I don't even know if it's necessarily an off year. I think you said it. No quarterback, and yeah, he's right. still putting up those numbers. That Absolutely. Just, that just shows how great he is. Absolutely. Yeah, I just like you look at the last two years, he had more than 1,500 each. Three straight years of at least 1,300 and double-digit touchdowns. So, Unbelievable. Uh, you know, people are spoiled with Devontae Adams. That's how good this guy is. Uh, great job there, Marcus. Marcus Tabbert. On the Adams jersey. Nice custom jersey, Devontae Adams. All right, so all the headliners left are all full-size helmets now. Drew Brees rep, Dak Prescott rep, and the two speed flexes, Colin, in the practice squad. Isn't that nice, right? It's very nice. I think the next, if the next one's not close, it's very close. Okay, and we have a single after this, don't we? We do have a single after this. All right, I think perfect. I think it's going to be two more doubles after that. And then I think it's closed. Okay, so how many boxes total are left then? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to look here in a second. So, because we do have the next singles bought into. I want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, no. Over, so, so, after that next single, we should be back onto even numbers. Okay. Which can close us out with doubles. Okay. But I think it's two more doubles. Total. Okay, I gotcha. Well, we're coming down to the end of it. So I would say hurry up and get your spots. Uh, let's let's knock out the rest of this practice squad here. Yeah, the eighth double just moves. And JJ is very much shooting a shot, asking if you would swap that for Bernie Kozar. I always say, shoot or shoot, Colin. Shoot your shot, JJ. <laughs> Does not hurt anything. Uh, it is definitely a shot, though. I'll say that. If I'm, yeah. being, if I'm being completely honest, Colin. And that is a shot out there. Uh, with the Bernie Kosar trade. Maybe, maybe he's just the biggest Bernie Kosar fan you've ever seen. Marcus is a combo of Miami Hurricane fan uh, and a Cleveland Brown fan. <laughs> and his other team is the Cowboys, and he was a backup for Dallas. And yeah, he just ca he cannot hit a Bernie Kosar to save his <laughs> life. And now, yeah. this gift from God, from J.J. <laughs> it never hurts to ask, I'll yeah, say that. That's true. Uh, box 30 coming up. 30 of 35 in the practice squad. This is definitely a full-size helmet. I'm not sure if it's rep or authentic. It's a rep. This 
one's a wrap. It's a wrap. And it's a beautiful wrap. Uh, this is the NFL leader in passing touchdowns. Put some name on his respect. Or put some respect on his name. Flip that backwards, <laughs> Colin. It's Dak Attack, Dak Prescott. Uh, nobody had more touchdown passes than him this last season. Uh, that's the NFC East. That's Pat Rich with the Dak Prescott flash. Uh, very, very nice hit right here. Uh, such a solid quarterback, right? Dual threat guy, running, passing the ball. A guy that doesn't get enough respect, in my opinion. I mean, 4,516 pass yards, 36 touchdowns, and just nine picks this last season. That is, that's a that's a superstar season. Yes, it is. And that's, you know, we've disagreed about a couple things tonight. We are definitely in agreement on this. Yeah. I mean, this guy's a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. Okay, so we agree. Yes. Dak is a top 10 quarterback. He absolutely uh, is. Three-time Pro Bowler, 202 touchdowns and 74 career picks in his career. Better than 2-1. to one. Uh, Not even far from... Now, you know, three to one touchdown to pick ratio. Uh, sweet says Pat. Nice says John. Uh, nice indeed. Dak Prescott on the flash rep. How about a little bit of headliner fire right there for you, Pat? Uh, Dak attack. And that is great trade bait. A lot of Dallas fans out there, although, as we have come to know, there's a lot of. Dallas fans are very split on Dak Prescott. You'd think it'd be good to trade bait, but. Yeah. Uh, I get it. There's still enough guys out there that like him, Colin. Uh, for every Dallas fan that doesn't like him, there's at least half a fan or at least a fan that does like him. Uh, so, great. And Chris says great hit. Uh, great hit indeed on Dak Prescott. I'd like to see the like somebody to take a poll on Dak Prescott and see the ages. Because I feel like older Cowboys fans... They want to win again, you know? Like, they've sure. seen the great... They want to win again, and that's why they're not so patient with Dak. I feel like younger Cowboy fans like Dak. People that are 20 or younger, mm -hmm. or 20-ish, that weren't spoiled with three Super Bowl yeah. rings in a decade. And now they're hungry. Oh. Those pe the, the older Cowboy fans want more, you know? Like, yeah. we need to get back to greatness. Yeah. They never experienced the greatness, the younger That's ones. That's a really good point. I don't know. That's a Food really good thought. point. Uh, practice squad, is this our first single only? First single. All right, how about that? First single in the practice squad. Practice squad single number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number. I'm not sure if Dak will be in the final hit video or not, Colin. I'm putting him on the desk for now, though, because I want to put some respect on this guy's name. He's going on the desk here for now, uh, Dak Prescott. All right, so I just want to make sure I've got this right. So we just filled up another double. So we've got two doubles ready and a single. So the eighth and ninth double filled up is what you're saying, right? Yeah, so a single, a double... Double. Yeah. Closer to Colin, make him touch it, right? I agree, William. So how many boxes are left there? So I think once we're caught up, we're going to have three. So how many are there now before we're caught up? Just One, to double two, check. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. So we have the single, and we have the ninth double sold out, too. So that's five. Five. So there's going to be three left. three left. So that double you're about to put up is the last double then. The double I'm about to put up is the last double. The single after this next single is the last single. Well, yeah, the one that's up is the last single, you mean. The one that has four spots to go. Yes, that's okay. the last single. So Correct. the break you're about to put up is the very last break you're putting up in the practice squad. Correct. This one is last more double. Today. Last chance, guys. And then that single that has four spots to go, now that is the last single on that break. Uh, and we got box four for this single. And then we have the eighth double and the ninth double to follow after this break here. Two speed flexes still left. Plus, there's a Drew Brees still left, Colin. Sheesh. So there's a lot of good stuff left in the practice squad. All right, so four. Box four. Box four. Thank you, John, for the box call. And then three to go in that practice squad single. And that 10th double is up. Go in there and get it, guys. The 10th double is up. Uh, go and get yourselves uh, a little bit of magic in the practice squad. Six times on the way here. Good luck, everybody. Got five and six. All right, Gisela's got the NFC North. John's got the NFC South. Gisela's got the Hurt Spot, NFC East. And she's got the NFC West. 
By the way, John has the Drew Brees spot. James Pago, AFC North. Dustin Rose, the J.J. Watt Speed Flex spot. Giselle Luster, AFC East. And Chris Abermatz in the AFC West. Practice squad. The first single, box four, coming up here. Four out of 35. This one's a jersey. Uh-oh. We got a little bit of Pac-Man action. It's Adam Pac-Man Jones. Really good defensive back. He was a good return guy as well. Former pro bowler. Uh, played on multiple teams. This is him on the Tennessee jersey. Tennessee Titan jersey. AFC South. How about it? Dustin Rose with the Adam Jones. A little bit of Pac-Man. Not the baseball Adam Jones. The football Adam Jones. Right, Colin? Yeah, let's make it clear. Yeah. Five to go on that practice squad double, and then one to go on the single, so the break is going to go here real fast, Colin. Yep. Uh, real fast. Not surprising. I mean, it makes sense. It makes Two sense. Two flex is still out there. Yeah, it's such a good break. Uh, so there you go. Pac-Man, uh, former Pro Bowler in uh, 2014, uh, 2015, and then a first-team All-Pro in 2014. Uh, that was back in his Bengal time. This is him on the Tennessee jersey. So the eighth double is next, and the ninth double, and then we'll see if it's the single or the next double that closes out first, because they're both pretty close, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They are knock, knock, knocking on that doorstep in the practice squad. And even even on a rep, like, I mean, Drew Brees, that, that's no joke, right, Colin? Because after this one, we have, what, two doubles? Three doubles and a single. We have seven boxes left, right? Uh -huh. I believe we have seven boxes left. Drew Brees, J.J. Watt, Jalen Hurts, uh, all out there. Right, Three and seven chance at a headliner. Single went first. Single went first, okay. Is the double gone too? Um, if it's not, it's right It's about there. to be, yeah. okay. All right, let me write this up for Dustin real quick here, and we will move on to the eighth double box. And everybody in that eight double box wants to get the speed flex. Everybody not in that break is like, please don't don't pull it, right? I want to see it in the next one, right? Right. So Jones on the custom jersey. The eighth double is next. Chris Taft, Roderick Agmada, and Pat Rich in here. Practice squad double number eight. So I'm putting this in the chat here. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. First come, first serve on those numbers. I think it's gone. It's gone? Looks like 11, 14, 19, 22, 31, 32, and 34 are left for our practice squad numbers. Uh, let me know, folks. Mini break is only four to go. Uh, we still got two to go in both of the one and four breaks and two to go in the jersey breaks. New Jersey series on deck, Colin. He is gone. It's gone? He is uh, gone. We got 11 and 22 called out by Pat. Guaranteed. We're seeing Jalen. Let's go. Let's go. 100% guarantee. Someone's getting a 101. Yeah, they are. It's pretty awesome. Now, that'll be the hit of the show tonight, I would say. Yes. Almost for sure. Although, Colin, there's a chance we might drop some new diamonds if things go well. Maybe pair up some diamonds. Mm -hmm. Uh, there could be some stuff in the next diamond break that could top it, actually. But the best hit in this series, for now. 11 and 22. 11 and 22. That guy's in the break. Uh, that's Pat, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, 907, that's Pat. That's right. He's not only in the break, he's got 5 out of 8. He's got better than 50% chance to win the break. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That is not bad. All right. We got six clicks here, guys. Four, five, and six. All right, Pat's got the NFC North. Chris has the NFC South. Uh, Pat's got the NFC East and the NFC West. Roderick, AFC North. Pat, AFC South. Roderick, AFC East. And Pat's got the AFC West. Practice squad double number eight. We got boxes 11 and 22 here in the practice squad. Good luck, guys. Let's see what we got here. 
Oof. Hey, it's one of your favorite players, Colin. Are you lying? I, I don't think so. Okay. You had an obsession with him a few weeks ago. Oh, I know who it is. <laughs> who do you think it is? It's Corey Dillon. It's Corey Dillon. Yeah. Oh, four-time Pro Bowl running back, more than 11,000 career rushing yards. Uh, it's the Bengal jersey, Bengal great. Uh, that's the AFC North. Roderick Agmada. Congrats on the Corey Dillon custom jersey. It's Beckett certified, that QR code on that jersey. Uh, good get there uh, for Roderick. Cool, cool. All right, Roderick, like that one. Corey Dillon's dope. He was really good. Very good. Uh, very good running back back in the day, no doubt about that. Uh, congratulations, Roderick. Love that Corey Dillon jersey, man. Very cool. I remember him as a Patriot. Yeah, he was a Patriot. Of course, I'm a little bit older than you, Colin. I remember him as both. Oh. Both, baby. Just showing off now. That's right. <laughs> we figured out you were, other than Alex, the youngest on-air guy we have here at UA. Weird. That's, I always picture you to be, like, my age, and then I forget you're 28? 28. Yeah. yeah. I'll be 29 this year. And I'll be 34, so we got a five-year... Almost exactly five years, you actually. You my dad. <laughs> no, I can't. That's not... I don't think that's actually even physically possible. Boy, if it is, I wish it wasn't. That's... <laughs> yeah, that just that's, sounds messed up. That's disturbing. Uh, more like Big Brother. More like Big Brother. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Corey Dillon jersey for Roderick Egmata. Good job, Roderick. Uh, we got one more coming up here in the eighth double. Then we have the ninth double. Then we have the second single... Then we have the 10th double, and that's it for the series. So uh, what did I say about, like, 30, 40 minutes ago? It'd be gone in an hour. I was right. You were right. The whole series will be broken for, uh, done by 8 o'clock, less, you know, sooner than 8 o'clock even, uh, just like that. It was a 35-box series that got dropped during the 3 p.m. show. Uh, they did 13 at 3 p.m., and we knocked out the other 22 in under two hours, Colin. Jeez. That's not bad. That is not bad. Although we are still waiting for uh, the best helmet in the series, and you can make a case for maybe the second and third best as well. Uh, I know the Breeze is just a rep, but it's an amp helmet. Uh, Watts of Flex as well. At least three of the best hits are still out there. This is, this is true. All right, we got oh, wow. Mr. Cowboy. It's not William Maynard. It is the OG Mr. Cowboy, Bob Lilly. Hall of Fame 80 inscription, my favorite kind of cowboy jersey. Uh, the navy with the white combo. Uh, beautiful jersey, nice hit, JSA certified. Pat Rich, NFC East. Wow. Uh, one of the best defensive players of all time, the great Bob Lilly, right? I mean, if, if your nickname is Mr. Cowboy, you're doing something right. I would say. Uh, 11, 11 Pro Bowls, seven-time All-Pro, Hall of Famer, of course, going home to Pat Rich. So three full-size helmet headliners in the last five boxes? All right. Two of them are speed flexes? That's not bad. One's That's Drew not Brees. bad. Uh, so J.J. Jones, uh, at the current moment... Uh, you can't get another GOAT package, but you do get emails uh, with promos every month, monthly emails exclusive to GOAT-only people. Now, there's some talks about things resetting possibly next year, possibly, possibly not, Colin. For the rest of 2024, once you hit the GOAT package, you cannot get a second headliner package for free, but you do get bonus rewards that other people in the break room do not get. There's mm -hmm. there's monthly emails with promos that are sent out to just the GOAT people, and those just started here recently, Colin. Recently. So you are getting uh, more options. That's William's least favorite style. Okay. I like it. I, I did say my favorite, but now that I think about it, it's probably my second favorite because I like the dark blue one as well, Colin. Uh, that one is clean. But this is cool. This is Dallas Cowboy Colors. But obviously, everyone's got their own preference, Colin. Mm -hmm. It's a nice jersey for me, for Pat Rich, Bob Lilly. Yeah, I kind of like it more as a display than... Cause they, they used to wear jerseys like that, didn't they? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't like the ones they used to wear, but I like it like that. Like, yeah, that's cool. It. Yeah. That's cool. So, I don't know. That's a weird thing for me. Yeah. It's all a matter of personal preference. Oh, yeah, it is. 
So there we go, Pat. 180526. If I can write properly. Bob Lilly. So we have what? Five boxes left. And we have three headliners left. I see you erase them because we know they're all coming off, obviously. Mm -hmm. But it's Breeze, Watt, and Hertz. I like that we both looked. Yeah. I was <laughs> like, what? What's left? Nothing. Uh, so. My favorite for sure, the all blue as well. There we go. Chris and I are on the same page. Great minds think alike, Chris. All blue seem to be thicker also, says William. There you go. I think the Patriots custom jerseys are the thickest. Those things are real thick. They're big. Yeah. Uh, like practice, nice patch. Practice squad double number nine. Drop me two box numbers, guys. Robert, Gisela, Pat, and Chris. Two box numbers. The odds are pretty good at at least one headliner in this one. And none of the headliners are <laughs> not great. It's only headliners if there isn't one here. Yeah. Breeze, Watt, Jalen Hurts. And you're right, actually. If there's not one here, then the last three boxes are mm -hmm. all headliners. God, two speed flexes and a Drew Breeze. Mm-hmm. I'd be, I'd be feeling all right right now. I don't know what we're going to bump in the hit video. Right? What? Which one? You gotta get rid of the wraps, I think. Oh, you think so? I think See, so. I think they right. they look the same in the hit videos, but I, you're probably right. I, I'm not touching LT, because I love that look, and we haven't had that one lately. That, uh, Marie, I mean, Marino, it's kind of hard to boot them off. I did do them in the video last night, but I don't know. We have options. It's always good. What were the numbers? I'm sorry, 32, 34? 32 and 34. Yes, sir. Thank you, Pat, on those box calls, 32 and 34. You got Jim Brown and Walter Payton. <laughs> those, are, those are good running backs. Mm -hmm. Still the second half to go, but the Knicks lead in Boston by 21, 69, 48. Ooh, statement win. I, well, I will say Boston doesn't have much to play for, Colin. Statement. <laughs> They've clinched the number one overall seed in the NBA. Uh, probably a little bit of lack of motivation for this game. I do see Tatum, Porzingis, and Brown are playing, but they're probably not bringing that playoff intensity, Colin. Uh, but, hey, I'd rather be up 69-48 than be down 69-48. That much, I will say. All right, let's get you guys set up here. For our ninth practice squad double box. Double the boxes, double the fun here. Six clicks. Good luck. Ooh, Pat Rich. He's got the. Actually, he's got. Oh, not all the spots. Chris has the Watt flex spot. But Robert's got an NFC North. Pat the Breeze spot, the Hurt spot, NFC South, NFC East. He's got the NFC West as well. Gisela's got the AFC North. Chris, the AFC South. Pat, the AFC East. And Gisela's got the AFC West in here. Practice squad double number nine. 32 and 34 here, Colin. Let's start with 32. What do we got in here? Oh, okay. I'm going to do something to you that I've done to other people. I want to see your reaction to it, Colin. Hold on. Okay. Oh, no! The lights are out! It's Sean Merriman! The lights out! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. AFC West, Gisela Luster. Uh. Former Pro Bowl pass rusher, former All Pro, Sean Merriman. The lights are back on. The jersey is beautiful. One spot, Giselle Luster in the West. Two spots in the break. One spot to win, Sean Merriman. You're welcome, Colin. Oh, it was, it was great. It was glorious. It was glorious. Uh, so, love this hit. Had a glorious start to his career. 05 to 07, double digit sacks three years in a row. Including 17 in 2006. A good hit to Sella, Sean Merriman. Yeah, he's one of my favorite defensive players growing up.
Dude, it was awesome. And this is one of my favorite looking jerseys. The powder blue, it's got that Argentina blue feeling to it. Uh, the UNC feel to it as an Argentina and UNC fan. Love this color scheme. Well, I don't really care for Argentina or UNC, but I was going to say that it is my favorite just like standard custom jersey in the I, game. I probably agree with that. I mean, what beats it? I don't really think much beats it. Nothing. It's the best one, in yeah. my opinion. True. The Panther one looks good, too. The Panther. Everything looks, Panthers. Looks very similar to this one in many ways. Everything Panthers is good. All right. Except for the current football Except team. for the actual players on the yes. team. But. All right. So that means... Ironically. We have, what, four boxes left and three yeah, headliners 75 left? 75 percent chance we're getting oh, on here. Robbie better not have messed with that board. I feel like people would be telling us something right now, right, Colin? Well, they already did with the Matt Ryan, so... Okay. I think we're good. Uh, is, is this a trap? This is a trap. This yeah, has got to be a go. trap. Uh, so, see, now that's a more fair trade offer right there. Sean Merriman for Corey Dillon mm -hmm. for Roger Gigmata. Now, that, that one's making a little bit more sense uh, as far as a legitimate offer, Colin, right? Yep, yep. And that's a, probably a pretty even one, in my opinion. Uh, so, my opinion is the Eagles have the best jersey, says William. Okay. It's a trap. Okay. It's a trap comment. Oh, we talk about William's comment. Yes. Oh. Okay. No, no, no. The Corey Dillon, Sean Merriman is, makes perfect sense. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to buy that for a second from William. I like the player more in Corey Dillon, but I like the style of jersey better in Sean Merriman. So exactly. It's like, yeah, it's a exactly. preference for me. Uh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not falling for this. All right. Box 34, let's fall in love with the headliner here because the odds are 75% chance at one, Colin. It is a full-size helmet. All right. I have a good idea of what this might be. I'm actually wrong. It's oh. not the headliner. Uh, this is a beautiful salute to service. Stefan Diggs. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, Diggsy wow. baby, AFC East, Pat Rich. Congrats on one of the best receivers in the league. Now a Texan, but a lot of great seasons in Buffalo, especially 2020. Led the league in catches and yards as well. Uh, he's going to be incredible for uh, C.J. Stroud. I mean, I think this guy, you know, a little bit of a diva, but what receiver isn't a diva? And this guy's play on the field, Colin, few are better. Uh, few are better than Stefan Diggs. Uh, nice hit right there. Pat Rich. Yeah, that is a fantastic filler, I would say. My goodness. Very nice. Um, so there's a single and a double, and it's two speed flexes and a Drew Brees, for sure. So somebody might be walking away. Um, somebody is going to walk away with that. It's well, a single for... Wh wh whoever wins under the rest bucks. of the way is profiting big time. Yeah, under 100 bucks in the single. Because Josh Underwood, Gisela has two, Josh has two. But even that's still under 100 bucks, right? Under 100 bucks for a speed flex. Or Drew Brees. <laughs> when we're talking about, you know, arguably 10 times more that value. That's insanity. I don't know, Colin. That is this. This sounds too good to be true. Boy, I hope. I mean, I can't. No, it is over here. They feel heavy. It is going to be true. <laughs> they feel but heavy. It sounds too good to be true. Uh, so we got the practice squad single. Roderick, Gisela. Chris, Dustin, Josh. What if Josh Underwood, first time ordering today, sneaks in here and gets a speed flex or a Drew Brees for $46 or 92 whatever, two spots, but still worth it. And then John Sutter with the closer spot uh, in the second practice squad single. Then the guys in the double were afterwards. They are hoping this is not... The Hurts, probably, Colin. I mean, at least, it's even if it's the Hurts, you're still going to get J.J. Watt and Drew Brees. If it's Brees, you're going to get the two speed flexes. If it's J.J. Watt, you're getting Drew Brees and Jalen Hurts. Like, there are no bad combinations on these last two breaks. Well, it's a win-win for you and I, because we're going to witness some cool stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and drop me a box number. First come, first serve. The last time needing a number in this series, because True. Uh, then the double box is going to be the last two boxes left. So 14, 19, or 31, which one feels lucky? And Gisela, it was your Sean Merriman uh, jersey you just won for your Corey, or Roderick's Corey Dillon. Okay. Just for that trade deal. Well, John is known for box number mojo. Uh, he's hoping it works for him with box 19, Colin. 
One nine in the practice squad. Thank you, sir. Well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow. Uh, it does feel a little, I mean, it is too, it's they're all full-size full -size helmets. <laughs> I have been fooled before, uh, but uh, this might be one of the two speed flexes. Although, if it is a speed flex, which one is it, Colin? And, and look, the J.J. Watt one is sick. I want it to be Jalen. I don't want to wait anymore. The, the Jalen Hurts one is kind of next level, right? I don't want to wait anymore. Oh, my God. All right. We got four, five, and six clicks. Roderick Igmata has the hurt spot. The third one down NFC East. And AFC South, I believe, is the third to last one down. John Sutter here. Oh, baby. After six clicks. Uh, so we got Josh Underwood up top in the NFC North. NFC South. Gisela could get the Drew Brees here, potentially. Uh, Roderick in the NFC East with the Jalen Hurts spot. Uh, we got Chris, NFC West. I guess... The other spots don't really matter. So I know it's the South, the East, and uh, what's the other one? The NFC, actually both Souths. Yeah, both Souths and so, the NFC East. Gisela, Roderick, and John on the edge of their seats. Uh, what do we got here inside box 19? 19 of 35 in the practice squad. Such an awesome series with several awesome helmets left. I feel a visor, Colin. Oh, baby. I've got ourselves a sick visor, a sick helmet. It is box number mojo. John Sutter. Wow. JJ Watt on the speed flex. Wow. And that blue visor pops. Look at this thing. It just hits different, the blue visor. Headliner fire. JJ Watt, an incredible hit. One spot. John Sutter for 46 Dollars, Colin. Forty-six dollars. Three-time defensive player of the year. That's just crazy. Uh, the only guy to do that, along with him, is Aaron Donald and Lawrence Taylor. That is some pretty good company, right? I mean, future first ballot Hall of Famer, more than a hundred career sacks, of course. Multi-time Pro Bowler, All Pro. Uh, I know Alex said this the other day, but arguably uh, the best player on defense of this generation, the two Watts and Aaron Donald. Uh, so it's hard to disagree. Uh, great job there, John. Uh, what a fantastic hit, JJ Watt. That's one of the best visors, the blue one, Colin. It's beautiful. Love this blue visor. Uh, so congrats, John. Says Gisela. Thank you, says John. Nice hit, John. Nice, John. Congrats, Bud. Says Sean. I feel like John Sutter is like the uh, Barry Sanders of the break room. You know how Barry Sanders scores a touchdown? He just hands the bar to the official. John gets a big hit. He says, thank you. Thank you. Uh, he is the Barry Sanders <laughs> of the break room, John Sutter. And he got himself a great one in J.J. Watt. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome, man. Uh, so that means that the last double is going to be one of the best breaks we've ever had, actually. I mean, uh, Jalen Hurts, custom speed flex, uh, and we have uh, Drew Brees in that series. Uh, and that break will have... Buying 92 bucks. So whoever wins in those spots, they're going to be sitting pretty. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm ex nervous. All, all of the above, Colin. <laughs> all of the above. Uh, so JJ is going on the desk. <sighs> I mean, uh, Mike both, Evans. The reps, both the reps. Mike Evans. We're about to get... Oh, two that are going to be. Oh, Dak you want to get rid of Dak Prescott? It's going to happen in two minutes. Don't you just want to get ahead of it? One, two, three. Otherwise, we're talking about six helmets that are going to have to be on the desk. All right, fine, Colin. <laughs> I'm just looking. This isn't even a Cowboy 8 thing. This is All right. Just... All right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to be realistic. All right. That's fine. Uh, I'll get these guys set up for the practice squad. Double number 10, Roderick Igmata, Chris Cornwell, Dustin Rose, Giselle Luster, and Pat Rich in here. Uh, double the boxes, double the fun. We are talking about practice here, guys. Uh, what a great series. We're looking for a great end in the practice squad series. All right, six clicks on the way. We got four, five, and six. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Roderick. Oh, my God. Oh, boy, Roderick. Mr. Agmata 
Paging Roderick. Uh, Dustin Rose as well. Uh, oh my goodness. All right, gotta make sure here. Double box break. We'll start with box 31. And we got box 14 next here in this one. Uh, we've got ourselves a heavy box. Roderick and Dustin on the edge of their seats right now. Looking for Hertz. Looking for Drew Brees. This one is extra heavy, Colin. If you know which way I'm headed. It's my boy. Oh my God, it is glorious. Hertz, so good as it says on the helmet. The Jalen Hertz custom speed flex with his face painted on it. It is a one of one. The only helmet in the world right there. One of one for Jalen Hurts. Look at the visor. Hurts. So good, baby. NFC East. Sick. Roderick Agmata, baby. Oh. How about it, Roderick? It is too sick. How about it, man? Uh, what a great quarterback. What a beautiful helmet. Uh, flip this bad boy around. The speed flex. What the pros wear. Uh, two years ago, unhealthy Colin, runner-up in the Super Bowl, runner-up in the MVP vote. And he was up there early in the season, before the injuries. You know, first half of the year, he was one of the MVP candidates, and rightfully so. Incredible helmet, incredible player, incredible hit. Uh, congrats, says uh, our guy Pat. Wow, that's great, says John. Yeah. I, I, I don't really know how someone painted this, Colin. Like, look it's at incredible. this. incredible. It looks like him. Like, like that's him. We got some talented people on this earth. I'll uh, just say that. He is him, both Jalen Hurts, and even more so mm -hmm. the guy that made this. Well, hold on. He is him. <laughs> or she. Or she. Or she. Could, could be a female. Be or she. He or she is him or her, right? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Love Jalen Hurts. Oh, love this helmet. This is the best Jalen Hurts helmet you may ever see in your life, Colin. It's the best one I've seen. It's the best one I've seen, and you're right. I don't know if I'll see a better one. But. Oh, my God. Roderick. And he got this for how much? $92? That's it. $92. That's insanity. He had one spot in that break. $92, Colin. <laughs> $92. Oh, my God. That's unreal, man. Uh, the hit is unreal. And I love that, like, inscription on the visor, too, Colin. Oh, my God. Uh, one of the all-time great helmets in UA history. Uh, I, I say this every week, and I, and I do mean it, and this is living proof, Colin. The hits keep getting better and better and better. There we go. Some emojis from Roderick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Get him, Roderick. Get him. God, it's cool. Get him. It is so cool, man. Uh, Pat's already offering $1,000 if you're interested, Roderick. Uh, that, that's the offer right now. Uh, but I think it's worth more. Uh, what, I think <laughs> it might be worth more. I don't know. Uh, you know, if you want to take the money now and run, or you want to put it out there and think about it, or you want to keep it for your collection, up to you. Uh, so beautiful hit right there for Roderick. I just love, I mean, I like Jalen Hurts a lot. Obviously, he's the Eagles' starting quarterback, but I just love, too, that he's hes just such a professional. You know yes. what I mean? He yes. carries himself well, just he, he he was, lets things right go right off his he, shoulder. He was the team captain before he was a star, Colin. Mm -hmm. They felt that they should make him the captain, the leader of the team, and that's what he is, Jalen Hurts. I've just never, he's just, nothing gets to him, bro. He does not feel the pressure. No. And that is valuable. You know Absolutely. What I mean? And he's a guy that's always looking to get better. I mean, he came in as a running quarterback in college. I think he's worked on his passing game. I would say he's a very solid passer, very smart decision maker, and that running ability still very much out there as well for Jalen Hurts. Absolutely. And I'm hoping 17, William Maynard. I never wish for guys to get injured. Uh, obviously, uh, Colin, you know, a lot of folks said Tua wouldn't play many games. He played 17 last year, so... Hoping for the same for Jalen Hurts in 17 games where he's healthy. Not, you know, a lot of games last year that he played because he's tough. 17 healthy games for this guy. Yep. Yes, please. And please. <laughs> speaking of Hurts, he's in the next Jersey series, right? Yep, it's going up right now. So that's going up. We knocked out the Jersey series. 
Uh, so jerseys going up. We do have one more box here, Colin. Uh, and this one is going to be a rep, and I don't even care. It's going to the hit video. It's a yeah. Drew Brees amp helmet. Uh, it is 100% going in the hit video. Uh, Dustin Rose. Let me just flip I know the Hurts one given it's a I flex. Should, I should leave it by you because yeah. you're going to show it off. Yeah. Come Even on. Even though I wanted to put it by me. I know. I know. You <laughs> want to be right next to the Jalen Hurts. I, I like it. the Jalen Hurts. I get it. I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. All right. The last box in the series, the practice squad. Colin Rudisill's favorite number. 14 coming up. That's right. The Ernie Banks number, baby. Let's play two. Double box break. We already had a Jalen Hurts custom speed flex. And this one is also incredible. How about Drew Brees on the Saints amp helmet? Look at this bad boy. Drew Brees with the gold ink. NFC South, Dustin Rose. It is Beckett certified. Uh, that cert right there. Number two all time in passing yards. Number two all-time in passing touchdowns. He was runner-up MVP four times, Colin. He was so close. Three times led the league in passing yards and passing touchdowns. And neither one of those three seasons, he didn't get the MVP, question mark. Uh, it doesn't make sense. I mean, guy's a beast. Uh, he is, in my opinion, a top five quarterback of all time. Uh, Dustin Rose, NFC South. Congrats on the Drew Brees. It is a fantastic player, a fantastic autograph, and a fantastic amp helmet. That is how we do here in the break room, Drew Brees. That gold ink just mm -hmm. pops on that thing. Mm -hmm. Boy, it's nice. This is a nice. This is all from a practice squad. Yes. These are diamond names up here. Diamond looking lids. All of these are diamond lids. That's crazy. I mean, honestly, I would put that in the diamond even as a rep. It's Drew Brees. Yeah, right? On uh, an amp. I mean, the practice squad is ridiculous. How often do we see a Saints amp? Uh, only a handful of times ever. Mm hmm. And how often is it this guy? Because, I mean, I think he is, without question, the best Saints player ever. Actually, you look at what we got here the best Saint ever, Drew Brees. The best Texan ever, J.J. Watt. The best Dolphin ever, maybe Dan Marino. I would say, yeah. And then the best Charger ever, Daniel Tomlinson. Mm -hmm. And then just the best helmet ever, yeah. look-wise, Jalen Hurts. Maybe, the, hopefully, the best Eagle ever when it's all said and done. I mean, he is really talented, but that is... But we'll the helmet, see. The helmet's yeah. next level. I mean, now. we'll see. We will see. The helmet, definitely, though, unreal. Uh, Real quick, too, now that this is done with the practice squad yeah, Roderick and Gisela do you guys you guys are official on that trade Sean Merriman going to Roderick Gisela's getting Corey Dillon just yep. need confirmation in the chat here I've already got the tickets written up but I just want to make sure you guys are good on that yep thank you Colin for for that uh, let us know guys we're more than happy to make that trade uh, hashtag official official this New Jersey series looks pretty sick actually. yeah it does love hurts we got a Jalen hurts and a Jordan love which are not often guys we see in a series like that. Mm -mm, the Jordan Love is like a weird uh, specialty jersey, too. I don't know. I can't wait for that. I think they wore that jersey this year, one of the games, I believe, Colin. Did they? Nice. I think so. Definitely looks cool. It was either this year or last year, because I remember the watching them in that jersey. Huh. So, actually, I don't even need a jersey number, because it's the last one in the series. Is the new one 30, 35? What do we got? It might be 35, it looks like, Colin. Yeah, let me go look. I think it's 35. Allow me to look. It is 35. Uh-oh, Dom's in trouble, by the way. What are you doing? I didn't have time to look between shows. I think we did a mini break, and the minis are not off the ticker. SMH. SMH. Robbie's in trouble, too. <laughs> Robbie's in trouble. We'll, just we'll talk about that later. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's not in that much trouble. Robert. Uh, so uh, we'll probably figure out what those two minis are here at some point. Uh, should we get to a break there? Which I think we will. We only got four spots to go in the mini break. That is the wheel spin. That should happen tonight. Three to go in that college double box as well. With us still going after that Jerome Bettis. So a lot of good options in the break page, guys. I'll go out there and attack. All right. Will, Marcus, Zachary, Shane, Roderick, and Heather. The last box in the powder blue. Then a brand new jersey series with brand new headliners uh, going up on the break page. We got five... 
And we got six clicks. All right, Zachary Erickson up top in the NFC North. NFC South is Shane Woods, Will Junkie, NFC East. Heather, NFC West, AFC North, Will AFC South, Marcus AFC East, and Roderick in the AFC West. Powder blue, jersey break. The Sammy Sosa box, last one left, box 21. All right, Will, uh, we got the three-time Pro Bowler, the rookie record holder with 14 and a half sacks, one of the best nicknames ever. Philadelphia Eagle star, Florida Gator star in college, and a Tennessee Titan star, Javon Curse, the freak. Freaky fast, freaky good, like a Jimmy John sandwich. Congrats, Will Junkie, on Javon Curse. Nice looking Tennessee jersey. Like a Jimmy John sandwich. That's what, that's what they say. Freaky <laughs> fast, freaky good. And Colin, we are good on the trade. Uh, Roderick says yes for me, and I believe. Gisela said that earlier. Roderick, I'll do that trade. Bet. All right. So, if you don't mind confirming Gisela again, but sounds like trade is a go, uh, Colin. And you wrote those up as well? They are good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, fair trade here in the break room. I love when there's, like, legitimately, like, really good offers. Because I always say, shoot your shot. It never hurts to ask, but whenever... A trade offer comes through that I'm like, that's actually a fair trade. Wow. <laughs> you are not a hooper. I'll tell you that. That's not even regulation size. <laughs> it's a, that's a pretty good, pretty big basket. Uh, not even regulation size. The posted note to basket ratio is in your favor, Colin. <laughs> thanks, guys. And thanks to Sella says, Roderick, you're welcome, Roderick. No problem, brother. No problem at all. So we are finally caught up on the breaks today. Only took us about two hours, Colin. Huh. Uh, so good job, guys. You guys have uh, done the hard work to get us here. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome here in the UA Live break room. Uh, we'll hit them with the top to bottom rundown, refresh the break page, and see what might be next here in the break room. I would say the Aaron Donald speed flex would be a nice one to get after. Uh, new minis, new jerseys, uh, a lot of good headliners there. Some good stuff left in baseball as well. All right, so top to bottom rundown coming up here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to refresh the break page, make sure everything is fully up to date. All right. Five spots to go in the baseball double box. We got Mookie Betts, former league MVP, World Series champion, uh, one of the best players in baseball, uh, whatever position he plays, uh, whenever he hits, power, average, he does everything Mookie Betts. Former Cy Young Award pitcher, the best pitcher of my generation, in my opinion. Now, Randy Johnson, Greg Maddox, Roger Clemens... I think they had a little bit longer prime than Pedro, which might make him a little bit better if we're, look, we're talking about longevity. But when he was at the peak of his powers, I think he was better than all those guys. The mix of pitches, all that stuff was incredible. Pedro on the Funko Pop. Sammy Sosa, more than 600 career home runs. Steroids or not, you hit 600 plus home runs, you're a beast. Only guy ever with 60 home runs in three separate seasons, slamming Sammy Sosa on the bat. Uh, we got Paul Molitor, one of the best hitters ever, and Billy Wagner, a great lefty closer. 12 boxes left, five headliners left in the baseball. Three spots to go in the college double box. This one should happen tonight, Colin. Only three spots left. Uh, we got only seven boxes left in the study up. Study up college series. Uh, we have the Jerome Bettis, Notre Dame Authentic, one of the most iconic lids ever, and one of the most iconic players in Notre Dame history, uh, Jerome Bettis. Also a great stealer, of course. Eighth all-time in rushing yards. A big dude, a big personality. An awesome hit there. For 142 bucks. that is a steal, Colin. 71 in the single, that is a steal for Jerome Bettis. Uh, we do have the... Hall of Fame quarterback Jim Kelly still lurking. Uh, that is a secondary headliner with seven boxes left. 
Always good stuff in the college break, no matter what. Uh, Diamond Double Box. This is what we always say, the best break in the room. All Authentics, all awesome items. I know some of the guys in the practice squad were going crazy chasing Authentics, and then they're upset to get a mini, right? Which makes sense. I get it. I get it. You don't want to get a mini when there's Authentics out there. In this series, you don't have to worry about that, Colin. Not Every not. single helmet is a full-size Authentic. We have the Aaron Donald Lunar Speed Flex uh, with that sick gold visor. Uh, the best defensive tackle ever. Uh, I just can't believe how great this guy was. There's so many videos of him facing three, four guys and still beating them, Aaron Donald. I mean, D tackles are not supposed to get double-digit sacks. He can. I mean, he's got more than 100 in just 10 seasons, Colin. He averaged more than double digits. Uh, Mr. Aaron Donald made the Pro Bowl every single year he played. It's a speed flex, which we always say is worth more than a standard authentic. Six to seven hundred bucks for a speed flex unautographed. You add the value, you add the flex, the visor, the autograph. It all goes up, up, and up. Phenomenal hit, Aaron Donald. Uh, we do have a couple young superstars whose value is going to go up in autograph value. Kenneth Walker the third, one of the best young backs in the league, and then the defensive rookie of the year will anderson and you can double up with kenneth walker and aaron donald in that nfc west spot this one has been two to go the whole show a uh, two to go in the one in four single two to go in the one in four double as well colin uh this series like the diamonds like the vault you hear me say it all the time everything in here is good uh, miguel cabrera uh, one of the best hitters ever. I mean, he might be a top five hitter ever. Just pure hitting, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, more than 500 home runs, better than a 300 average, more than 3,000 hits. Uh, you could not get this guy out. He was so good, uh, both for average and power. Hakeem Olajuwon. Uh, the two years the Bulls didn't win championships in the 90s, you know, it was all Bulls. Then it was the Rockets winning two in a row in sandwiched in between the Bulls' uh, six championships. And who was the biggest reason for those titles? Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. That's right. Uh, he was so good on offense and defense. The Dream Shake. Uh, he is fantastic. It has not been two to go for two days, JJ, because I broke a one and four last night, uh, Kyle. Uh, yesterday in the early show, I believe it was. Caught you in a lie. Or was it Tuesday night that I broke uh, it? I'm yeah. trying to remember now. I was trying to be your hype man on getting JJ here, and you just... I broke one Tuesday. I'm back on the wrong horse. I definitely broke one Tuesday. Oh, gosh. But it's possible that someone else got a spot later that night. It didn't happen today. Do you have the winner sheet? I definitely broke a 1-4 in four on Tuesday. I can't remember now if it was Wednesday or not. There was a 1-4 in four double Wednesday at 3. Boom! <laughs> I was right! It's been less than two days. Wednesday at 3, it's been just over... Ozzie Smith and Will Anderson. Yeah, that sounds right. Just over 24 hours... Since the last one. Yeah, so two to go for one day, Colin, not two days. Let's make it zero to go. Let's make it zero yeah, to no go. No days. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, everything in this series is fun. It's all unique stuff. Stuff you're not going to get in other breaks. A lot of entertainment stuff. A lot of awesome stuff. Uh, we do have maybe the best uh, point guard defender ever, Gary Payton, the glove. We got Steve Eiserman, And we have a lot of great stuff in the end more section. Uh, so that is two to go in the double, and it's two to go in the single. Which one is JJ in? Both? I or think he's in both. He's in both? Let me make sure, but... Well, if no, he's only in the double. So, Pat, if Pat and JJ each get one more, then it's gone. It's uh, gone. Five to go in the college single, 71 bucks for a Drone Bettis Authentic. Only seven boxes left. That's a awesome get as well. Mini helmets are the chase wheel spin. Only one break done in the minis. Only one headliner off the board, Jalen Hurts. And actually, Colin, there's only 25 boxes in this one. Good Lord. There's 23 left, 10 photo headliners, and three secondaries. So, Theismann, Earl Campbell, Rano Cunningham, Debo Samuel, Tony Dorsett, Deion Sanders. Look at the NFC East, all the double ups. TJ Hawkinson, AJ Green, and Roger Craig. You can double up in the NFC uh, West as well, Niner fans, Craig and Debo. Uh, that is the chase today. 
Let's knock out that mini break, double box break. CJ 2K, Fred Taylor, uh, still available in here as well for the minis. Uh, so come and get those. Uh, Nico Collins and Boomer Esiason, actually. Uh, the ratios are really good in here in the mini helmets. Uh, brand new Jersey Series, 35 boxer. All the headliners out there, Antonio Gates, Brandon Ayuk, Jordan Love, Jalen Hurts. I mean, two awesome quarterbacks as Jersey headliners. Holy cow, Colin. Ricky Williams, Heinz Ward, Warren Moon, Brian Urlacher, A.J. Green, Jamal Charles, and the single-season rushing record holder, Eric Dickerson. Diamond, six to go. Baseball break is five to go. So what are we thinking, guys? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? You know what I'm thinking? Well, first off, the college is now two to go. Yep. That is coming up here soon. Yep. Any uh, minute. Any minute now, the college is coming up. I think this baseball double four to go, that will happen tonight as well. Uh, but I think we're going to do some diamond action, Con. I know I mentioned it to you earlier. Uh, I want to get these awesome diamonds off and running. We got seven boxes left. I'm pretty sure the two people in this diamond double, who are they, by the way? It is Troy Sorensen and Pat Ridge. All right. I'm sure they wouldn't mind one box from the old series, one from the new, where they can get a headliner in the new series, Colin. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I think that'd be nice. So we're going to do that break that way. We have the one single still up. That has six spots to go. Uh, but if we compare the diamonds, one with the old, one with the new, maybe inject some life into that series, right? Oh, get some. Like... Let's do that. I'm looking at the names on our headliner board, and I can already see that you could pair us Speed Flex Steve Young with the Speed Flex Aaron Donald of the NFC West, Colin. <sighs> Justin Herbert, Tony Gonzalez, Bo Jackson, Warren Sapp, Matt Ryan, Troy Aikman, Peyton Manning, Terry Bradshaw, Eddie George, your boy Donovan McNabb. Uh, so, uh, the hands team. We're going to double check that's the right names, the right graphic. But we'll get on uh, getting that put up here shortly, guys, in our Diamond Series. So, that's, that's always fun. Jerseys are moving. All of a sudden, one spot to go in the jerseys. Uh, that will happen as well tonight. Uh, so, keep those orders moving. Uh, we'll keep the brakes moving, right? And that is uh, what we're thinking here. Jeremiah Greco jumping into jerseys. Uh, did use the Thirsty Thursday. You buy six or more brake spots. You select the jersey with one of them. You get that spot for free. It's a pretty good deal. And it is six or more. You can get seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, could be any amount. Just has to be at least six, at least five paid for. And one bonus. The Bulls are up big tonight, although they're playing the Pistons. Uh, 123.97. DeMar DeRozan, 39 points tonight. Sheesh. Get him, DeMar. DeMar. Get him. And then we got, oh, this is good. I have the under tonight. Red Sox, Orioles, under 8.5. It's 2-1 to one in the 7th. Bo Sox. So... And that's the only baseball game going right now, Colin. Everything else is either finished or postponed. Yeah, three. I think two games postponed today. Yeah. We got the Warrior game tonight. I got a minus 13 and a half. Uh, I think the Warriors, I was looking at the tiebreakers and the scenarios and the schedule. They can actually get the eight spot, which mm -hmm. they want to get. Uh, you know, have to, you know, avoid being in that last spot, the 9-10 spot for the playing games, right? Yeah. You get the eight spot, you win one game, you're in the playoffs. Yeah, I think uh, something to do with Sacramento. They need Sacramento to lose, I think. Yes. Well, because they have the tiebreaker on the Lakers, uh, and that's a big one for them. Uh, so if they, play, they bump, they go over Sacramento, they can beat them as well. So uh, is the Hurts an Axum lid? Great question, William. I... I don't know. It is. Yeah, it is. You're right. Axiom. I believe it's spelled. It's actually here. A-X-I-O-M. I don't know how much you could see it, William. I see it myself here, Colin. What's the best way to show him? Riddell's here. It's like, I don't know. You might have to show it off. Uh, do your best Vanna White impression. But it's, <laughs> it's right here. It is Axiom. Nice. So it's very cool. Yes, sir. 
So, I mean, Axiom is the same thing as a flex. I mean, I guess it's not technically a flex, but it's the same thing, Colin, right? I'm going to look it up if actually considered a flex. Because I always look at these, and they're called, you know, I look at this little mark as the flex. Let me look it up to see if it's considered a flex. I guess it's a flex alternate, I guess. Axiom helmet. Is it a speed flex? The considerations. I think, it, I think it's technically not. But I don't know for sure. So the Riddell Axiom uses the same cam lock chin strap system as the Riddell Speed Flex. Uh, the cam lock mechanism and opening on the Riddell helmet are completely identical to the Speed Flex. So we can consider using your favorite cam lock chin strap and adapters. So they I guess they're technically different. So I guess I'll call it a I'll call it a an Axiom helmet tonight then, Colin. <laughs> um, gotta do what you gotta do. So I like it. I like it. Very fantastic. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, integrated visor. Uh, very cool. Now, there's an article here on comparing the two of them, and they're both fantastic, Colin. It's uh, nice of somebody to take the time. Yeah, right? I think we are going to have our first Love Hurts here in a second. Love Hurts coming up in the jerseys. Uh, here's that new Diamond series, by the way. So we have... Seven diamonds left, Colin. We have one single we got to knock out. So we have six breaks where we would do the doubles, one from the old, one from the new. Uh, here's that new series in the diamonds. The Herbert Flash, the McNabb Two-Tone uh, Authentic with the green visor. The Steve Young Speed Flex, Bo Jackson, Terry Bradshaw. I believe that's a Warren Sapp Slate Helmet, Colin. Uh, we got Tony Gonzalez, Matt Ryan, Eddie George, Troy Aikman, and how about that incredible Hydro Speed Flex Peyton Manning. Uh, we do have the videos in here. Uh, this is the Steve Young. Look at this thing. It's a ripped Speed Flex, Colin. Uh, it's got different tones. Number eight, Steve Young for the Niners. We have all these Niner fans. Roderick, who's red hot today, got the Hurts. A uh, Gisela. And you can pair that in that double box break, by the way, with the Aaron Donald flex, Colin. Mm -hmm. This is fast. Uh, so 180 bucks. Get yourself around $2,000-ish value. Uh, not too shabby on those flexes. Uh, we got the uh, Peyton Manning Hydro Speed Flex with the blue visor. Uh, that thing is nasty. Uh, the best regular season quarterback, as I say, Hall of Famer Peyton Manning. Uh, that is incredible stuff right there. And that series is only 30 boxes, Colin. That's it. Uh, only 30 boxes. Walker, Ward, Anderson, Jim Kelly, DJ Moore. I believe this is actually the old series in this listing. but I think it's both. Yeah, it's a combo of both. Uh, but as far as this series, uh, that is 11 photo headliners in 30 boxes. That is not too shabby. And William says, biggest difference is the face mask. There you go. About the speed flexes and the Axiom lids. Well, good to see an Axiom lid. Uh, very cool. Uh, oh, I see what you're talking about. I see the face mask has a different feel to it, Colin. Hmm. Like. Yeah, I guess you got both right there. It's more like closer, I guess. Very subtle. Similar, but subtle, right? There's. A little two, two thing here, two bars or something, right? Right. You have a jersey break, you said, right? It's red. A jersey break, the first one of the new series. Uh, Love hurts. Uh, John, Jeremiah, and Chris in here. So jerseys coming up. Jersey single number one of the new series. Go ahead and drop me a box number, folks. And hopefully that inspires the troops to jump in that diamond break. I know one person is feeling inspired at least. Michael Otanto. Because that break is now five to go. Michael Otanto. Uh, what up, Mike? Uh, box two from John. Thank you, John. Mini helmets also two spots to go, Colin. Uh, that is our chase wheel spin. Mini helmets. Makes sense. So it makes sense to knock that out. Uh, no doubt about that. All right, so fresh, uh, fresh jersey series on the way here for you guys. Uh, box two. This is the first one in the new series. 
Very high level names for a jersey break, in my opinion, Colin. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got two elite quarterbacks in a jersey, black box jersey. You don't see that every day. Nope. You, don't <laughs> you see, certainly don't. You don't see Axiom helmets in practice squad breaks. No. And, and good call by William. I didn't even notice that. It, look, it does look very similar to a speed flex, Colin. Mm -hmm. But it is subtly different. I subtly mean, different. Yeah, good they're, turn. They're both fantastic. Oh, yeah. Can't, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Uh, six clicks. I'll read the spots that Jeremiah doesn't have. Uh, that would be the NFC North. Chris Ripka looking for a Jordan Love jersey to go with his uh, Chrome Flex Jordan Love. And then John Sutter looking for box number mojo AFC East. And then Jeremiah Greco, you've got the rest. Do we have any personal orders tonight, Colin? Yeah, we do have one. Okay, so we'll do a personal after this. I'll go over the personals real quick as well. Uh, so we'll be knocking out that personal here shortly. But two to go in that mini helmet break, guys. Two to go in that college double box. Uh, both of those breaks should happen tonight. Yeah, I think we're one to go in that mini now. Even better. Even better. Now we start with one of the best special teams players of all time. A guy that, you know, I always say this break room gives you an education. Even someone like myself who knows a lot about sports, who's a sports geek, loves the stats. We educate ourselves here every day, Colin. If you at home do not know who this player is, hashtag educate yourself. And I'll help you on that first path education. This is one of the best special teams players ever. Matthew Slater on the custom Patriot jersey. And that is a snipe. John Sutter, box number mojo on the Matthew Slater. Uh, oh, so pro bowls. <laughs> he's got a lot of pro pro bowls. Uh, he did play a little bit of receiver, but almost exclusively, uh, you know, a special teams guy. Ten pro bowls to be exact, Colin. Ten pro bowls. Shit. That is a lot. Former all pro, three-time Super Bowl champion, one of the best to ever do it at his spot, uh, Matthew Slater. Uh, John says, thank you. You're welcome, John. Uh, very, very clean jersey there on Matthew Slater. John's on a little bit of a heater tonight. And it's box number mojo. It's working. It is working. We're gonna hear something kind of interesting though. Yes. For all those Pro Bowls and all those tackles, all those plays he made, uh, he got himself one career catch, I believe. Really? One career catch. They put him in a game and they made, they got the, uh, got the man a catch, Colin. Wow, I would have thought it was a little bit more than that, but wow. Yeah. Did all his work on that uh, that special team side. Good and a lot of it was defense, too. I know he did some returning as well, but a lot of defense for him. Uh, no doubt about that. So there you go. Let's see, receiving. He had a rushing attempt, actually, too, in 2009. Matthew Slater. So there we go. Uh, for John Sutter. I'm seeing his stats, Colin, says one catch for 46 yards. That's not bad. I think they should have thrown to him more. Right? <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Are we getting some action on that diamond? Uh, Just the one so far. We did mm. sell out that college double, though. Was it Pat Rich? I think he got another spot. The closer was Steve Latilkin, though. What's up, Steve? First order. Ooh, welcome to the break room, Steve. Let us know what squad you like and how you heard about Ultimate Autographs. And if we don't pull the Jerome Bettis, I feel like we should get on a mini bus chase here. A mini bus? All right. There's only... Where's Jerome Nightpaper, the mini bus? I haven't seen Jerome Nightpaper in a he's, while. He has not been here in a long time. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. The mini bus is coming to town. Uh, there is a Jim Kelly still out there in that college break, too, Colin. Uh, so there is some... Good options, to say the least. Chris got two into that diamond double. Ooh, what up, Chris? Chris Cornwell? That's right. Oh, yeah. He sees that new series. Uh, study up. We got Pat, Will, Pat, and Steve. Uh, the college double box. College double number one. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, for our college break. Uh, mini break soon, diamond soon, 
Uh, we'll have some stuff coming up here. I think Minnie's just sold out. Minnie's just sold out. Excellent. Are you sold out on the college? I still see, still see one away on the page for some reason. Unless there was something funky going on. Let me take a peek. Yeah. I don't know if we got into something else. Because I know on the page it does say one away. So hold the phone maybe on that college double, guys. Colin will double check. But I don't know why the break page says one away. Oh, yeah. You know what? You're right. Steve is in. He got in baseball. Steve got in Pardon baseball. Me. So never mind, guys. The college double is not ready yet. It will be soon, though. One spot to go. Uh, I guess I could just leave this and you can just add the last spot yeah, when we get there. Because we do have a mini break first. So mini break is coming up. Uh, ring chasing. Mini double number one. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. Uh, diamond double is three left. Baseball double is three left. College double is one left. Uh, all of those breaks should be happening tonight. I'm hopeful the one in four happens, but I don't know. <laughs> the two to go for a minute and a half and then some, right? Yeah, a little too long. As we call it, a hot minute. So John, Al, Roderick, Pat, and Jim for the minis. Uh, John's going to keep that box number mojo going once two and 16. I mean, it's working. I wouldn't stop. Can you do me a favor and kind of see if we could figure out the two numbers they did? Because that would make our life easier, I guess. I'll get him off the ticker regardless. The minis are falling. Down go the minis. It's this wire. Two and sixteen. Awesome. And I'll start randomizing for our first mini break of this program. Good luck, guys. Five. And six clicks. All right. Jim's got the NFC North. And we got the NFC South is Pat. NFC East is Al. Jim's got the NFC West. Pat's got the AFC North. Roderick, AFC South and East. And John has the AFC West in the minis. Did you figure it out? We could do it after the show if we need to. No big deal. Yeah, I was just going to write them on a sticky note for you. So oh, okay. The break, you can look. Sounds good. All right, 2 and 16 coming up. Uh, good luck, guys, in the ring chasing mini helmets. Now oh, we got a headliner. We got a good one. We got a real good headliner here. Check this one out. Uh, how about this sweet mini, the Cowboy Flash? It is Deion Sanders, a little bit of prime time here in the break room. NFC East, Al G. Al Gaona is a big time Cowboy fan. He's got one of the best Cowboys ever, one of the best cornerbacks ever, the one and only Deion Sanders. Former Defensive Player of the Year, Super Bowl champion. He was a great kick returner, great punt returner. He's got the second most return touchdowns ever. If we count pick sixes, scooping scores, uh, nice hit there on prime time. Uh, John says nice. Nice indeed. Full work. Thank you, Colin. And actually, while you're right there, post-it notes. I need more. Whoa. Oh, touchdown. <laughs> Montana to Rice, baby. Congrats, Al. Very cool on primetime. Deion Sanders. I mean, 49 bucks. You hear me say this all the time. The authentics are worth the most, typically. But, man, you get a Deion Sanders autograph on anything for 49 bucks, you are doing very well for yourself. Uh, nice hit. Al says, William, uh, the Cowboy Flash is one of the best. Box 16 is next. 16... Of 25. Do we have back-to-back -back headliners here? We have back-to-back -back iconic franchises. Uh, we got Slash Cordell Stewart, former Pro Bowl quarterback for the Steelers. Uh, that is the AFC North. 
That is Pat Rich on the Cordell Stewart Mini. So congrats, Pat. Congrats, Al. Uh, nice double up there. Or nice double box break there in the Mini Helmets. Ring chasing. Ring chasing. So JJ is asking Al, any chance you'd trade that for the Cowboy jersey one earlier? Got a little Dion collection going. Uh, Reds jersey, FSU helmet so far. I mean, again, always shoot your shot, but he's a Cowboy fan. Uh, it's going to be very hard to get it off of Cowboy fans' hands, right? Yeah. What was his? I think his jersey was Bob Lilly. Oh, yeah. That's uh, right. And Deion Sanders, Bob Lilly. I mean, I do say shoot or shoot, Colin. Uh, that is definitely the case. But now, if he was talking to somebody else, not a Cowboy fan, he might have better luck. But Al loves his Cowboys. I mean,. The only thing I know about Al is his love for the Cowboys, Colin. <laughs> I, like, I think of him, I think of Cowboys. Cowboy love. Uh, thanks, says Pat. Oh, not Lily. It was someone else, he says. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what other Cowboy jersey we pulled earlier today, Colin. That Pat uh, one? Unless it was that JJ one. JJ won something, Cowboys. Oh, JJ. Maybe it was the other show. Or maybe we forgot about it. He got a mini. What mini was it? Jay Novacek, that flash mini. Oh, Jay Novacek, okay. Demarcus Lawrence, maybe? Oh, maybe the early show. Okay, Demarcus Lawrence. Yeah, if that was on a jersey and a cowboy. That sounds Perhaps. right. I remember Don pulling it. I was listening to the show on the way in. Mm. So, there you go. That was probably the case. All right, so nice double box break in the mini helmets. Uh, nicely done, guys. Uh, let's, not, let's knock out... This diamond break next, Colin, right? Got to. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence says, JJ. Uh, this is... Every headliner is out there in this new series, Colin. Every single one. I know we have one from the old, one from the new. And all of them are uh, very much available in this series. It's an awesome, awesome series. I do strongly recommend the hand steam uh, diamonds... And the old series, by the way, Colin, we have three headliners and seven boxes. Aaron Donald, Kenneth Walker, Will Anderson. You can double up with Aaron Donald and Steve Young. One spot gets you two speed flexes. Uh, this ought to be the next break we do, right? Hands team. Yup. And we got another spot taken, two spots to go. Troy back in there for some more. What up, Troy? So also got the next mini going. Oh, there we go. Uh, minis are moving. We got... One spot taken there, and then we are still two to go in both one and fours. Three three to go in the baseball, and one to go in the college double. So obviously, guys, we'll keep going as long as you guys want to order. You know, we're typically here to at least 9.30. If the brakes are hot, could be 10 o'clock, could be 11, could be midnight. But we should be here at least about another hour or so, Colin, unless things really slow down, which things are steady enough where I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, so in that next hour, though, there's at least three breaks I can say with 100% certainty will happen. Baseball double, three left, that's happening. College double, one left. Diamond double, two left. All of those are happening this program. And let's be honest, pretty good chance another jersey break is going to fall, right? Mm -hmm. uh, with Thirsty Thursday. Pretty good opportunity of that. Uh, and all the jerseys that are left in that new series... We have not pulled a single headliner. Uh, so hopefully get a one and four knocked out as well. That's something I'm hoping for. Uh, but I guess what's the what's the best helmet in this hands team? It's it's gotta be the is it, is it Manning or Steve Young? I think it's the Steve Young looks cooler. I think it's the Peyton Manning though, given the name. I don't know. What do you think, Colin? Donovan McNabb. Okay, that is a two-tone lid. <laughs> no, I mean, that Hydro Payton is pretty special. Look at the blue with the blue visor. Yeah, and that white stripe down the middle. Just just classic. It's a really nice-looking lid. I don't know what it is lately, but I've had this new obsession, Colin, personally, with blue visors. <laughs> They're beautiful. I don't, I don't know, like, why? Like, why now? Like, what, why did it take me this long? Uh, but the blue visors, it's its my new thing. It's fantastic. Uh, it's a beautiful helmet. Welcome to the club. Right? And uh, look at this one as well. The ripped Steve Young lid. And that thing is super duper clean. Uh, come and get that Steve Young, guys. Definitely recommend that. Highly. 
Highly recommend, Colin. Beautiful. Highly recommend. Uh, so that break is what? Two to go? Two to go. Two to go. So who's going to make it happen here in the UA Live break room? And by the way, again, the NFC West could get you uh, this one, and it could get you the Aaron Donald flex. The AFC South could get you Will Anderson, as well as the uh, Peyton Manning flex. Sheesh. So a lot of options in the Diamonds. Uh, the best break in the room, all authentic helmets. So two to go there. The baseball break is three left. Again, I mean, Mookie bets. I'm surprised we're not chasing Mookie. With only 12 boxes left. Yeah, you're not kidding. Uh, he is one of baseball's best players. Uh, might even be the early front runner for MVP right now. Uh, do have the Sammy Sosa, one of the best power hitters ever. And then Pedro Martinez, one of the best pitchers uh, to ever play the game. So, uh, definitely worth knocking that break out. And then, of course, one spot to go in the college double. Jerome Bettis, full-size Notre Dame Authentic. Uh, beautiful autograph, fantastic player, uh, fantastic helmet, Notre Dame, the iconic gold. It's cream of the crop, right, Colin? Cream of the crop. So it looks like we did boxes 8 and 24 of the other ones going off the ticker in the minis. Found them. So 17 to 23. We then, thought it could hide them, but we found them. Uh, we found them. And that ticker is going to be updated. And practice squad is gone. I'll get that off the ticker as well. No more practice squad. Uh, diamonds, minis, jerseys, college, baseball, and one in four full of awesome stuff, guys. Uh, just a matter of who's going to close it up, right? That McNabb one is cool too, though, Colin. It is a two-tone lid. It is very cool, but it will not be the coolest eagle we pulled tonight. This one is reserved for the Jalen Hurts. Yeah, this I is taking that title. This one is... Pretty safe for the top eagle hit of the night. God, it's pretty. So. Super jealous. Roderick. Super, super jealous Roderick. And Roderick is hot. Uh, he probably wants that Niner lid, Colin. Uh, the Steve Young. Is he in the Diamond Double yet? Is Gisela in there yet? We got Troy, Pat, Michael, and Chris. Ooh, okay. All right, Niner again. Come and get that Steve Young. Uh, one of the most underappreciated quarterbacks of all time, Colin. Facts. Uh, Steve Young was incredible. The GOAT lefty quarterback. The GOAT lefty, and it's not even close. Let's be honest. Uh, not even close. We looked up the list a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, whenever it was, and it was like Steve Young by a mile. <laughs> I mean, like, Michael Vick is amazing. He was like third or fourth on that list. They kind of told you enough, right? Mm -hmm. I think the Red Sox are going to blow... Yet another lead to the Orioles. Are they? Yeah, three two now. Santander with a two run bomb. Well, as long as it's less than eight and a half runs, I'm happy. I think you're gonna be all right there. All right, let's go three two, baby. Uh, our guy Jeff is probably not happy about that, but yeah, it's probably like again. Uh, if you have socks in your name for baseball, it's we're not good. Not, it's not great right now. I know when the Red Sox were good, when they had Mookie Betts. Mm -hmm. now he's here on the Dodger jersey right now. Although Boston is seven and five, Colin. Yeah, I don't They're, know if it's a strong seven and five, you know. Kind of like the Pirates off to right. that early start, but question mark, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's like I kind of knew the White Sox were going to be bad, and then they were bad right out the gate. Now their three best players are hurt, so mm. you know. I, I do like the Orioles. They called up uh, uh, Jackson Holiday, Matt Holiday's son, and Sports Center last night was showing this awesome clip of him. In Colorado, as a three-year-old at Coors Field, uh, hitting the ball with Matt Holiday, mm -hmm. and now, like his father, he's in the in the majors. So that is a the number one prospect for them too. So yeah, number uh, one prospect, I think, in baseball. All period. of baseball. Yeah. So that should be uh, fantastic. Still looking for that first career hit. He's over three today. He got his first RBI, then got his first run today, mm -hmm. but not a hit yet. No so hits yet. It'll it'll come. Oh yeah, it'll uh, it certainly. will come. It'll certainly come. In bunches, probably. Oh, is is that Jeff watching? Says a small hurdle. The Sox will be back on track soon. <laughs> uh, they, they, I mean, they're a weird team because they're sometimes they have like the worst record, then they have the best record all of a sudden. Uh, so it does it does change. Uh, problem for them is they're in the wrong division. The Yankees, the Orioles, the Blue Jays, the Rays. It's tough out there right now. It's probably the best division in baseball. 
Uh, and somebody's got to be last place with all those good teams. Right now, it's the Blue Jays, but come season's end, it might be the Bo Sox. We'll see. Yankees looking good at 10-3 and three early. They're looking very good. Uh, no doubt about that, but still very early uh, in the season. I've said it earlier. So far, my surprise team has been the Kansas City Royals. Their pitching looks incredible. Christopher Fox, he told us, look out for the Royals. Christopher Fox said it first on this show, Colin. Mm -hmm. Now, that's early. like you Very said, early. But I don't know. I think they, especially in a weak AL Central. Uh, my favorite Red Sox of all time is in the break room as we speak. Pedro Martinez. Yeah, legend. Uh, he was an awesome, awesome pitcher. Uh, love Pedro. Three spots to go in that break in our baseball break. Uh, hoping that happens soon. Uh, we do have two to go on the diamonds as well. Uh, those are all breaks we should knock out this program. Yeah, the college double. That was sold out. It's still just one to go. Pedro Martinez in 2000, Colin, had a 1.74 ERA. It's unbelievable. In 97, a 1.9 ERA. In 99, 2.07. So, from 97 to 2003, can you guess what the worst ERA he had in the season was? What was it? The worst. And it led the league in the ERA that year, by the way. Oh, there was one, actually. 98 was worse. So, from 99 to 2003, his worst ERA in a season was 2.26. Sheesh. Oh, no, 2.39, sorry. That's still, but that's still really good. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, Pedro was so, so dominant. Uh, one, two, had five years leading the league in uh, ERA, the great Pedro Martinez. What's insane, too, is you got to think about the time period he was pitching. I mean, that late 90s, the steroid era. The yes. best hitters we've ever seen, and he's getting ERAs like that. Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable. Yep. Uh, that's crazy. 97, 1.90. There goes the college double, officially. Perfect. Uh, so, had Pedro signed the original dugout scorecard from his first ever game at Fenway. That's awesome. Wow. That is really cool. I bet that's a piece worth a little bit. That, that's a keeper. Uh, when did the Braves-Mets game on Tuesday, says Chris Knowles. I sniped the ball from the bullpen from Hauser. These kids tried gutting me into giving it to them, guilting me. I would I would have, but I wanted it for my boy, plus than 34, says Chris. That's right, Chris. You did what you had to do, man. No problem at all. Hey, you got the ball, His man. first ball ever. Those kids probably have quite a few at home. That's that's true. That is true. By the way, Chris Knowles, diamond helmets, your boy Aaron Donald on a speed flex. Still lurking. I've always uh, wondered what I would do if I got a ball. Because I, you know, I don't think you know until you're in the moment. You know now, what I mean? You can say it. As long as Chris didn't shove the kids out of the way. Because <laughs> when I was little, I went to a game with my cousins who were, I think, like 15, 20 years older than me, whatever the age may be. Uh, and I went to a game, and I was about to get the batting practice home run ball. And this, like, 40-year-old guy shoves me out of the way. And I was like... He did say sniped. Yeah. <laughs> Which is concerning. But then he shoved him. Yeah, I don't know. Did he reach in there first? Because I was getting the ball myself, Colin. And this guy shoved me. Yeah, that's and, right. And I was, you know, I was like 10 at the time. And I was, you know, a lot shorter, a lot skinnier. I was a little 10-year-old kid getting shoved for this baseball. It's not uh, funny, so it's, it's I mean, if he got in there first, that's fair game. But as long as there wasn't any shoving involved. I think if it's a home run ball, I'd probably keep it. Especially if it's like a yeah. big home run. Mine was a foul ball. I'd probably celebrate. Mine, I'd probably I was in the bleachers, but batting practice home run. Yeah. And this guy shoved me. So, it was not cool. <laughs> yeah, that's not cool. Not cool. The, you know, let the kid have the ball there. Uh, so, no, I didn't, but I was smart. I took my Braves head off uh, first. So, obviously, yeah, yeah, he's going to yeah. throw it to the non-Braves fan. Perfect. Uh, there you go. Perfect. Good job, Chris. Uh, Pat will let me know on a box number, two box numbers, actually. Otherwise, he tried pushing me out of the way, but I boxed him out. <laughs> well, I didn't box out. I'm like that uh, Buffalo Wild Wings commercial. Box out. Box out. Box out. That was really funny until I saw it a hundred times. In that. Oh, I love that commercial. My girlfriend says that I'm that guy because I get in the way of people. Then she's like, <laughs> you would make that quote. Let's go sports bar. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I would totally say that. <laughs> uh, so boxes 1, 2, 4, 15, 16, 18, and 32 in the college, guys. 
I'll give you 20 seconds here. Otherwise, I will go to our wheel to the side in the college break. I was just like, why are you making those faces? <laughs> it, was, it was pretty humorous. Ah, uh, good times. You just saw it a million times. All right. My girlfriend liked the one with the phone where they're all singing, like the pictures, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Because he doesn't want to delete them. And then he takes pictures of his wiener dog. She liked the wiener dog. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Shout out to Caroline. Box one still there. How disrespectful, says David. Well, David, I would say the college single, what, six times seven? That's 42. Like, so 420 bucks. I think a Jerome Bettis Notre Dame Authentic, probably worth more than 420 bucks. So maybe David gets in the single, buys out the whole break, calls out box one, and snags Jerome Bettis, Colin. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a play. I don't remember what series it was that we were closing out, but the very last box we did was number one, and my first comment was, wow, David would be so disappointed right now. Right. Well, Pat and Will have not called out numbers. Not interested. Uh, I will go to the 1 to 35 wheel here, which somebody has deleted. Good. So either Robbie or Dom is in trouble. <laughs> I'm There's just a lot of trouble tonight. <laughs> I want to find out what the Robbie thing is. I have a guess, but I'm not going to say it now. All right. I'm Gosh. too busy spending money on cards to give it to Thor because he's my boy. Okay. Thanks, David. All right. See, I like the helmets personally, but everyone's got their own preference, Colin. David's busy on cards. Uh, let's see. Box eight in the college, which we don't have... Four is the closest, though. Uh, we'll do four and then one more here. Let's spin this thing. Mm. We got, oh, almost the same thing again. Nine and 15 is closer than two. It is six away, two, seven away. So 15. I think it was, what did I say, four and 15, I believe? I four and 15. Five in my homes. And there's only five boxes left in the college. Just like yeah. that, Colin. Just just like that. All right, folks. Good luck. Good luck in our college break. We're talking about college. And hopefully that diamond goes as well. All right, six clicks. We got Pat up top in the Big Ten. And he's got the Big 12. Uh, it is Will in the ACC. Uh, looking for that, uh, by the way, that secondary headliner, Jim Kelly. Will in the Pac-12, Pat in the SEC, and Will everything else. Looking for Jerome Bettis. Boxes 4 and 15 in our college double box. Hashtag study up. Study up. All right, full-size helmet here. Oh my, what is this, Colin? This is cool. This is very cool. Love this Michigan State Spartan lid. Oh yeah. Uh, it is Jaden Reed, baby. That's the Big Ten. It is Pat Rich. Look at this helmet, Colin. Look at the green, the Spartan on the front. Uh, fantastic wide receiver. Do you know where he played high school ball? I actually uh, interviewed and covered this guy a few times Somewhere in his in high school days. No, actually, in, uh, it was actually here in Illinois. Oh. I briefly worked at Naperville uh, 17 Television. He played for Naperville Central High School. Wow. And his quarterback was actually Peyton Thorne, the quarterback at Auburn right now. Mm. Uh, so they were high school teammates, the Big Ten. Now he's got Jordan Love throwing him the ball. Jaden Reed does. Uh, Jordan Love, of course, was second in the league in passing touchdowns this last season. Uh, so, nice hit right there. Uh, Jaden Reed, eight touchdown catches, 793 yards last season as a rookie in the NFL. Uh, obviously, before that, a big-time star at Michigan State. A two-time second-team All-Big Ten guy, 2021, Colin. More than 1,000 yards receiving with Michigan State. That ain't bad. So, good job, Pat. Uh, Look-wise, this helmet is, like... I don't even know what to call these, but they are glorious. Yeah, whatever that is down the middle. Is glorious. Nice. Jaden Reed. And there we go, Pat. This baseball game's getting a little worrisome. About my over under? Yeah. 3 3? Three, 3 3 in the ninth. With the, you know, if they, 
You need someone to walk it off, which is, well, even a two-run homer, but... If this gets to extra, I extras, feel good. If it gets to extra, I it feel gets, good. It gets put, put the runner on second. I don't care, Colin. Oh, Colin. I feel confident. I have. I live bet the under once because I was like, it was six and a half. Oh. And eight. Oh, so you lost. Yeah. Yeah, oh. it's over. It's already over. Okay. Well, I can still win. Well, yeah, so, can, come on. I, Walk I, off. Yeah, listen, I'm just saying, I don't know if you wanted to get to extras. Do it for me and do it for Jeff. Walk off in the ninth, the Red Sox. Do it for Hefe. Colton Wong pitch hit and hit a home run. What a Former character. Cardinal. Also a guy I've interviewed before. A nice guy, Colton Wong. Very nice guy. All right, box 15 coming up. 15 is next. 15 out of 35 here in the college break. It's not the boss. It's a full-size rep. Uh -oh. The Bettis is an authentic helmet, Colin. Ah. 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 Serendipity? Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This oh, no. is what I'm talking no, about. No. Here comes the real oh, no. hit of the night. What are we doing? Oh, we bring out the real Brady in here. It's Brady Cook. Let's go. The Cotton Bowl MVP. M-I-Z. M-I-Z. Say it, Colin. Z-O-U, baby. Brady Cook. How about that, Colin? Ah, wow. Quarterback for the Mizzou Tigers. Huh. Uh, they won the Cotton Bowl over Ohio State. They lost two games the whole year. That is, that is pretty impressive. One to LSU, David Griffins, and one, of course, to Georgia on the road. Uh, yeah, that is fun right there. It's not a headliner, but in my book, this is a headliner in my book, Colin. Brady Cook, I uh, love this helmet. Uh, awesome guy. Uh, had a long streak of not throwing a pick. Also a really good running quarterback. Dual threat guy, Brady Cook. Uh, SEC Pat Rich. Uh, I'm a Mizzou alum. I've covered Mizzou sports in my previous job. Before Brady Cook took over as the quarterback, by the way, I actually covered him in high school. He played against Jeff City one time in high school football. Uh, but, man, Brady Cook this last year, 21 touchdowns, six picks, more than 3,000 passing yards. Uh, he was very, very solid. No doubt about that. Huh. I didn't, I didn't know we had black and blue college series. This is great. That's interesting. Uh, Matt got it for you for <laughs> Christmas. Luke was tired of looking at it, and he put it in the break. I, Whatever the reason may be, I'm I'm a happy guy tonight, Colin. <laughs> I could I could not be more happy with this Mizzou Tiger lid. As soon as I saw, I actually thought it was going to be Nick Bolton for a second, but then I saw that it said Cotton Bowl MVP, and then I saw the sticker that says Brady Cook, and I was like, no, I actually did see this in the back, and I have some good news for you. There's multiple oh, Brady Cooks. Oh God. There oh, is multiple no. Brady Cooks. Why though? And I, mean, I, I great. so much to look forward to. Uh, for the guys that are new customers, which there's many of them, Colin. If you guys don't know, I'm a Mizzou grad. I'm a huge Mizzou Tiger fan. Uh, and there's nothing like pulling your favorite college in the break room, Colin. Yeah, I actually pulled the Butkus Illinois rap oh, this week. So. Good for you. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> good for you. That's where it's, it's uh, nice. The cotton bolt. The Mizzou helmets look nice. The Tiger. That's all right. Uh, it's uh, Beckett certified. Uh, congratulations, Pat Rich. Actually, I have connection to both of these hits here. Jaden Reed and Brady Cook. That's a fun break. Two fillers, and I'm fired up. That's how much fun our break room is, Colin. Hmm. Do I have to put this back? I probably do. Yeah, go ahead and put it back. <laughs> I probably... <laughs> I think he's he stayed on the desk far too long. Which one's better? What do you think? Jalen Hurts? Here we go. <laughs> Brady Cook. A literal one-of-one one hand-painted <laughs> on a helmet we don't care uh, <laughs> I guess... You guess? I guess the Jalen Hurts is better. Oh my god. I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna admire this one until the next break, Colin. So if you guys don't want me to have this helmet up here, fill out the breaks, yeah, I would right? Say someone should get that last time in double spot. Oh <laughs> man. If if not for yourself, for me. You know what's gonna happen next. It's gonna be Nick Bolton next. <laughs> That's gonna be what's gonna happen, Colin. Oh. 
Freddy Cook. Of all the guys in our break team that could have pulled this helmet, I get to pull it, Colin. I'm a lucky guy, man. I hope the Orioles hit a three-run homer. C come on, <laughs> Colin! That's not what I'm looking for. Matt Ryan's... All of the diamond headliners are still there, Josh. Yes, sir. Matt, That's a different Matt Ryan. Uh, that was the practice squad. Yeah, so real quick, Josh, just to clarify, and this is why I keep showing off the same graphics, the same top-to-bottom rundown, different people tune in at different times, right, Colin? Uh, so, Josh, we are pairing the diamonds one box from the old and one box from the new series. Uh, we have seven left total, Colin. We have a single box in the old series. We must close out, so we'll have six boxes that have one from this hands team series and one from the old series, which, by the way, Colin, there's an Aaron Donald speed flex that you can pair with the Steve Young speed flex. It's not too bad. Uh, this is only a 30 boxer, too. And we have 11 photoed headliners. Uh, we have arguably the second best quarterback of all time, Peyton Manning. Uh, we have the best lefty quarterback ever, Steve Young. Uh, we got two of the best quarterbacks of our era, Matt Ryan and Donovan McNabb. We have Hall of Famer, three-time Super Bowl champion, Troy Aikman. We have a four-time Super Bowl champion, Terry Bradshaw. We have one of the best young quarterbacks right now, Justin Herbert. And we always talk about this, Colin. Quarterbacks have more value than any other, uh, you know, positions. The autograph value is the highest by far. And I know I could sit here and say 11 photoed headliners in 30 boxes. But think of it this way. Four, five, six, seven photoed quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. That means almost one in four boxes coming out will be a quarterback, Colin. Pretty good. And, you know, honestly, probably with the exception of McNabb, who I would say is very, very close, all those guys are Hall of Famers or will be. Herbert, a lot of work to do, but if he plays up to his talent, he definitely has that Hall of Fame possibility. I think so. He is second all-time in passing yards per game, Justin Herbert, by the way. So uh, he is a fantastic player. Uh, going to the Atlanta for the end of the month, says Chris Knowles, for a Delta fundraiser. I hear Tom Brady will be there, so I guess I have to get some stuff signed now. All right, well, you'll pay an arm and a leg for a Brady autograph. Uh, you could maybe risk it for the biscuit here and get uh, get it a lot cheaper, as we would say, a right? discount. Uh, I no heard, doubt uh, about that, Chris Knowles. I heard today he has not ruled out the possibility of playing. Of course. <laughs> uh, here's the Donald Speed Flex, by the way. The last photo headliner left in the old Diamond Series, Colin. And you can pair up with Donald and Steve Young in the NFC West, possibly. So one spot to go. That break is happening here soon. Uh, otherwise, five to go in the jerseys. All the headliners out there. That might happen soon. I would love to get a push for the baseball break. Three spots left. Mookie Betts, Sammy Sosa, Pedro Martinez still lurking. And the one in four, uh, awesome stuff. One in four chance to win. Uh, a lot of awesome stuff in there. It's not just about the photoed names. Everything in the one in four is fantastic, Colin. So who's going to make it happen? Who's going to knock out these awesome boxes here in the room? I, I don't know. I proposed rule change for hockey, just off topic. Okay, what's <laughs> that? So in this Lightning Senators game, it's three to three in overtime. There was a penalty by the Senators with like three seconds left, so they only had three a seconds. three second power play. They should run the entire power play, even if it goes zero seconds. You should get your full two minute power play. I'm not against that. Like otherwise, it doesn't even matter. You know, right? What's the? Why wouldn't you just hack somebody if you think they're gonna score with only five seconds left? Don't they have something where they can get some sort of, like, penalty shot if it's too aggressive? Yeah, if they're, if they're going towards the net. Yeah. If, yeah, like, if you're on a breakaway and you, like, trip the guy. Yeah. You, then you get a, a penalty, penalty shot. shot. But, like, you can, like, cross-check him or something if he's against the... Sure. You know, like, if it's just... I don't know. So. Ah, there you go. Congrats, Chris. Delta employees free. 
Ah, that sounds like soccer penalty time, says Craig Joseph. Yeah, just, I don't know. It feels like you should be awarded your full penalty yeah. time, but that's just me. Uh, by the way, Craig says, say again, what's up with the diamonds? So, Craig, obviously you just tuned in, a big-time Steeler fan with that Bradshaw a helmet out there, four-time Super Bowl champion, Terry Bradshaw, like Joe Montana, 4-0 in the big game. So, Craig, we're taking the old diamonds and pairing them with the new diamonds. So this diamond double box break has one box from the new diamonds and one box from the old diamonds. Every single headliner is out there in the new diamonds. We have not broken a box in the new series yet, Colin. As for the old series, there's only seven boxes left, and that includes an Aaron Donald speed flex, and that also includes, uh, this is the new names in here, but I believe it's the Kenneth Walker and the Will Anderson, Colin. So it's a three and seven chance that a headliner in the old series, it's 15 and 30 in the new series, I believe. Uh, so 11 photoed and four secondary. Uh, there are seven old diamond boxes left, correct. Uh, seven left. So, but, you know, the dream double up would be Steve Young with Aaron Donald, Colin. That is the dream double up. You can double up Peyton Manning also with the Will Anderson, and you can double up Steve Young with the Kenneth Walker. So a lot of double-up possibilities in the hands team. Uh -oh. Craig Joseph. What, First what's, and oh. second, two outs, top of the ninth, tied 3-3. Three, three. Jackson Holiday steps up to the plate. And gets a He's single. He's going to get his first career hit. It's going to be a three-run home run. No, a single. <laughs> and the Baltimore Orioles win 6-3. to three. A single. No. That's all he needs, a single. Why start with the home run when you can get a single? Because it'd be way more epic. Oh. And actually, I think he struck out. So Of course he did. <laughs> there you go. You're <laughs> I'm pretty sure he struck out. So one to go on that diamond break, guys. Who's going to get it? I mean, you know what I'm going to call this? This this is going to be the GOAT series because we have the best regular season quarterback ever, Peyton Manning. We have the best regular season tight end ever, Tony Gonzalez. Uh, we have the second best regular season or postseason defensive tackle ever Warren Sapp uh, we have some of us, the best dual sport athletes some would say Bo Jackson Colin uh, this is fantastic this diamond series also what I like about this series in particular Colin Tony Gonzalez Matt Ryan Eddie George what do all those guys have in common even Donovan McNabb we don't often get him in the break room Nope. so a fresh list of names even Peyton Manning, honestly. We got a lot of Brady, got a lot of Mahomes, a lot of Drew Brees, a lot of Dan Marino, a lot of Joe Montana. Relative to those other guys, Peyton Manning is not in the room nearly as often, I would say personally. So, one spot left. Let's get that hands team knocked out, guys. Uh, get two authentics out of the way here in the Diamonds. Let's do it. See, and then the Senators won in shootouts. It's like if the Lightning would have had their penalty time, they might have won. I don't get it. You should be able to get your penalty time. Otherwise, what's the point? Some things in life aren't fair, Colin. I'm going to the hockey commission. All right. I'm taking this all the way to the top. Mm. So let me know, guys, what you want to knock out next. Uh, de definitely diamonds is going to happen. We'll see what else we'll do uh, for that break. Do you agree, Peyton Manning, best regular season quarterback ever? Or are you on the Drew Brees train? Feels like it. I don't know. The guy's got a lot of MVPs. He's got five MVPs, Peyton Manning. Tom Brady only had three. Drew Brees had zero, Colin. Yeah. MVPs. But I think most people would agree that's hogwash a little bit. Drew Brees should have an MVP. Oh, I mean, I agree with that. He's absolutely an MVP caliber. Should he have court. five, though? I don't think he oh, should have God, five. God, no. But uh, it is a little so. bit, not nearly as much. Hear me out before you say anything. Sure. A little bit of the Brock Purdy effect with Peyton Manning. I think he had two very good wide receivers. He had an incredible running back, a great tight end. Here's the difference. Peyton Manning's an incredible quarterback. And sure. he showed that when he went to Denver. Well, I would counter that with Demarius Thomas and Cor not Cor Corlin Sutton. Who's the guy? Emmanuel Sanders. Emmanuel Sanders were both top five in receiving yards with Peyton Manning as their quarterback in the NFL. Exactly. And so, that's why it's like, Peyton's a step above, clearly. Yeah. And, yeah, no, he's probably the best regular season quarterback of all time. I mean, I'm looking at his numbers, Colin, and 3,739, 3,742, 
the only two seasons that he played the full year that he didn't have at least 4,000 pass yards. And then his last year, 2,249, uh, but he only played in 10 games that year. He's incredible. I mean, he, he's nothing short of incredible. Yeah. So Craig says Drew Brees had zero MVPs. It's just because he played against Manning and Brady and Rodgers, right? Any other era, he'd have one. And he even played against Mahomes, Craig, because he was going to get the MVP of the year. Mahomes got the MVP. Uh, Brees was the front runner much of the season. Then Mahomes put up 50 touchdowns. They had no other choice. But Brees was well, the guy they wanted to give it to that year. And that's, I mean, that's what happened with Aaron Rodgers, too. <laughs> it's yeah. just like, he had a great year, but Aaron Rodgers just had an unbelievable year. Yeah. Not the same with Mahomes, but... Yeah, good point on Mahomes says, Craig, absolutely. I just try to think in an imaginary world, and this is what everybody does. They're like, well, what would Manny do in Belichick's system? And mine is, what would Breeze do in Manning's system? If he had Wayne and Harrison? About the same, I would say, as I think he does, Manning. I think he does better, yeah. I think he's, well, not better. I see what you're saying. You're saying the same as Manning. Roughly. Right. Yeah, Rough, not, give or take. Yeah. I, I think Manning had, no Manning had a little bit better deep ball. And that's why with those two receivers, I could argue maybe slightly better, but I would say pretty similar. Yeah. Pretty similar. I thought you were going to say he would have, like, the same career he already had. And I was like, I think he'd be elevated. Oh, no, I would say, like, a similar career to Peyton Manning. Manning had, yeah. 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 And, by the way, Breeze is here in the break room. Dan Marino's here in the room as well. Uh, both off the board today. Peyton Manning is still out there. And, honestly, do you ever have a person that you just seem to always – see eye to eye with for whatever reason Craig Joseph is my guy I, I've, I've almost there's only like one thing he's ever said here that I didn't agree with uh, I I mean you and I both agree top five quarterback Drew Brees uh, crazy has got zero MVPs there is Brees right there yeah he's great so, and he's I like he said top five quarterback couldn't agree more number two on my list but you know I understand the arguments to be made he should be in the top five I think a lot of it is narrative driven though like you think about like, unfortunately, like, how do people judge the quarterback? I definitely am not a guy that does that personally. Uh, by the way, we did knock out that diamond double that's coming up. Chance at Peyton Manning coming up. Uh, but I think a lot of society looks at the quarterback spot, and they put a lot of emphasis on the wins. And Peyton Manning had a lot more wins than Drew Brees. And that's not necessarily because he was a lot better, but it was he played on better teams. And Drew Brees did not win as many games as... Manning and Brady, they didn't meet in the playoffs as many times because they couldn't because it was in the NFC. Mm -hmm. So it was that Brady and Manning storyline when in reality, in my opinion, Brady's here, Manning's here, and Breeze is here. But everybody acts like Brady's here, Manning's here, and Breeze is here. Yeah. And it's just... Well, some people, it's even lower than that. Right. So it's just it's Brady. a narrative thing. For me, it's Brady's the gold standard right now. And then between Manning, Montana, and Breeze... I can see a shuffle up of any combination. And I hate to say to it. Four. I hate to say it. Uh, I will definitely put Rodgers in that mix. I think, too. and then for me, it's one step down Aaron Rodgers. Right okay. there. Like, and I don't like Aaron Rodgers, but Aaron Rodgers is, is It sounds like we have the same top five as far as players, though. Maybe I not think older. so. I mean, you know, Montana, obviously, as well. You know, yeah, no, he's errors a, are hard. Johnny Unitas was great, but errors yeah. are... I go with the modern guys, personally. I mean, you can only collect See, what we have. I, Craig, I have them about the same. I, 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 I struggle. I know Collins got Breeze ahead. I have them about the same personally. It's like, take your pick, right? It's very tough. Yeah, you can't go wrong. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you don't have Breeze above Rodgers, I'm not going to be like, you're crazy. You know what I mean? I just think they're all between Montana, Manning, and Breeze, and then the Rodgers for me is five, but... They could be two through four. Yeah, drop me anyway. a number, guys. One from the new, one from the old. I think a lot of with Rodgers, and some of this may not be fair, Colin, but you get that feeling like sometimes his teammates don't like him. The leadership portion of the quarterback spot. Because I think Aaron Rodgers, he's got four MVPs, by the way. The second most ever behind Manning. Like, he should be better than all those guys. But there's just something that doesn't quite click there. The numbers are really, really good. But I think he's a guy that is almost too cautious at times. Why is that touchdown the pick ratio so good? Because he doesn't try the risky passes that some of those other guys do. So he doesn't get as many yards, but his touchdown the pick ratio looks better because he's very cautious. Sometimes in a playoff game, you got to make that pass that 
you know, you could lose the game as well. And that's kind of where Rodgers is amazing, but doesn't have that extra intangible, that leadership, that extra moment where he's going to go out there and win you the game. Because he'll never lose it for you, uh, at least not up until his last year in Green Bay. Uh, but is he going to go out there and win it like a Mahomes, like a Manning, like a Breeze, like a Brady? He does have a I'm lot not sure. of Hail Mary wins. Yeah, and those wow. are uh, definitely I mean, prayers. not risks. You just have to do it at that point. They're, he's good at it, though. My God, he puts them right where they got to go. Yeah. Breeze is the next generation Montana just without the Super Bowls, says Craig. It's pretty fair. Uh, how about two numbers, guys? We got Troy, Pat, Michael, Chris, Troy, and Will here. In the diamond double. One from the old, one from the new. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds. Otherwise, I will let our wheel decide. Uh, Josh says one Brady, two Mahomes, three Manning, four Breeze, five Rodgers. For me, I'm in my mid-30s going off players I've actually seen growing up. Josh, I, I got to completely agree with that list. Other than I would put Mahomes ahead of Brady. Uh, but if Mahomes retires today, Brady's ahead of him. I think Mahomes is better than Brady. But as far as best players I've seen have had to pick, I would 100% agree. I'm minus flipping Mahomes and Brady for my list, Josh. But it is very hard to go against Montana because Montana was was a legend, no doubt. But Yeah, not even Montana in the top five there. But, I mean, of mid-30s like Josh, myself, about to be 34, yeah, Colin. Those are the five guys that I would put on my list as well. I would just make the slight flip Mahomes over Brady uh, as far as who's better, I think Mahomes is better than Brady, but can he do it at age 35 and 40? That remains to be seen, of course. Yeah, if we're just talking a projection, that's probably not bad. But Yeah, and I, you could probably flip those guys either way. I mean, I think yeah, those guys are just phenomenal, Mahomes and Brady both. Yeah, I'm just saying right now, as of April 11th, 2024, I don't think I could have Mahomes second. Yeah. Personally. But I think, but. like, <laughs> knocking real hard. He might even play, like, five more years of elite football, and he might be number two then. Mm -hmm. I mean, he gets another ring, another MVP. He's on a ridiculous Like, I think track. it's pretty clear that it's going to be him one or two, Colin. Just a matter of where it ends up when it's all said and done. He's probably number five on my list of quarterbacks I've seen play, though. Like, already. Like, if he were tied today, he'd be the fifth Yeah, player. like, I'm saying, like, if I can't pick Dan Marino, Joe Montana, you know, Johnny Unitas, what, like, sure. it's probably Mahomes. All right, so I'm spinning for the old first. Or where did I put? Drop me one from the old, one from the new. So the old first, 16. <laughs> it's I see 13 and 19. Do you have 14 on there? Oh, I don't. So I'm losing my mind. So I have 13 and 19 is the closest. What do you have? I think 13 and 19. All right, so I'm gonna. Unfortunately. I'm gonna do this little decision here this way. Third. Now, what I like about Peyton Manning a lot personally, though, Colin. A lot of people will talk about, like, you know, Brady came out of nowhere. Breeze was a second-round pick. Mahomes was, what, the third quarterback taken in this draft. Peyton Manning was the first quarterback taken, the number one overall pick, all the pressure on him, and he delivered. He delivered. He's, uh, I mean, that he's is goated, no doubt. That is special. Uh, let's do box 19. This is the old series. And then Peyton Manning is out there in the new series. Uh, 1 to 30, whatever this lands on. Is the box we'll do because we haven't opened the one in the new series. Because a lot of folks love the underdog story, but I love the Peyton Manning, the LeBron James, the Lionel Messi. These guys with all the hype, yet they still deliver. Uh, how about 27, Colin? 27. So 1 to 26, and then 28 to 30 in the diamonds. What's funny about these arguments is that you take any of those quarterbacks that have given a one-drive, win-the-game situation. 100%, Craig. 100%. Although, given the track record of Mahomes in those scenarios, it's pretty good. that's the first guy I'm taking. I know a lot of guys will say Brady, but I'm taking Mahomes first. And I think Peyton Manning actually uh, has more game-winning drives in the regular season than Brady even, Colin. I don't want any of those guys. We just need some. Let me look it up. Most... Game-winning drives by a QB. Now, Brady's got 58. Manning's got 54. Breeze has 53. Yeah. Marino has 47. Uh, so... 
Yeah, we're literally talking about the best. See, but Rodgers is 31, though. Talk about getting stats. I mean, obviously that stat's not everything, but a lot less game-winning drives than those guys, Colin. Mm -hmm. Matt Ryan, by the way, who's out there in the diamonds, sixth most ever with 46. Put some respect Put on some that Put some respect name. on that name. No doubt about it. That's a top 15 quarterback all time, in Man, my that, opinion. I, I probably agree. Uh, Matt Ryan is fantastic. All right. Troy, Pat, Michael, Chris, Troy, and Will. Uh, there's probably very few conversation starters, Colin, that are more fun than talking about all-time great quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. And never, I never get sick of it. I don't know we talk about it a lot in this break room, which... We should, given how we get all these guys in the room. We have right now Peyton Manning in this exact series yep. that we're talking about. We just pulled Breeze. We pulled Marino. Matt Ryan's out there. Herbert, Bradshaw, a lot of the best guys now, a lot of the best guys ever. Uh, but it's just a fun conversation to have. Absolutely. It is phenomenal. That's one, if I had a superpower, I'd be able to like switch players and teams and go back and watch them. And I'll take Peyton Manning, throw him to the Patriots, and let's see what happens, yeah, right? Yeah, simulation. That'd be fun. I'm worrying for your bets. What is it? 5-3? Five, five, Why are you worried? Because it's th- the Red Sox are going to the bottom of the 10th with nobody out and a runner on second. Oh. And they still have to get three outs in the top of the 10th for the Orioles. That's fine. Who are in the heart of their lineup. That's fine. Oh, come man. I'm I, scared. I have a lot more on the Warrior game, so that's okay. Okay. How's that going? Uh, I don't know if it started yet, but it's gonna it's gonna end quickly. Minus thirteen and a half. It hasn't started yet. Uh, we got Chris Cornwall in the NFC North. Uh, we got the NFC South is Will Junkie. Uh, we got Troy Sorensen NFC East. Michael Atrondo NFC West. Chris Cornwall AFC North. Will's got the AFC South. Pat's got the AFC East, and Troy's got the AFC West. Diamond double box number one coming up. We got. 19 from the old. And then what was the new one? I believe it was 27. 27. No reason why we shouldn't run back these diamonds as well, by the way, Colin. Uh, such a terrific series, the diamonds. We are doing at least one more break after this because the jerseys are only three spots left. That one is definitely coming off the board. No doubt about that. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, I have our divisions ready. Let's see what we got here in our last uh, break here, perhaps. Oh, my God. Look at this thing, Colin. Look at this helmet. You ready for this? I'm ready. This is what we were sleeping on the last couple hours. We got the best headliner left in the old series. It is Aaron Donald on the Lunar Speed Flex. With the sick gold visor, the best defensive tackle of all time, three-time defensive player of the year, Super Bowl champion, eight-time first-team All-Pro. We can argue about quarterbacks. You can't argue about best defensive tackle. He is the GOAT. That's the NFC West, and that is Michael Atrondo. What up, Mike? He's the guy got got this break moving, Colin. Mm -hmm. It was six to go for a while. Michael got in. I uh, got himself Aaron Donald. That is absolutely incredible. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. Aaron Donald, Lunar Flex, baby. One of three guys to be Defensive Player of the Year three times. Another one of them is right here next to him. We got the Watt Flex. We got the Donald Flex. We are flexing on him tonight. How about it, Colin? How about it? You like my flex? Uh, it was something, yeah. You like it. I know you like it. It's okay. Don't hate. Congratulate. I like that. Uh, congrats to Michael, Aaron Donald. And he might just be getting started, too, considering know. there's still a Steve Young Steve Young. Flex out Steve there. Steve Young? I mean, <laughs> so what's going to survive tonight, Colin? I don't know. Something's got to go right now, I would think. Well, right? We're going to have a couple different themes, too, because we got the quarterback theme and we got the defensive lineman theme, because we can't bump speed flexes, Colin. So, I don't, I, right now, I would do all six in the hit video, because that flash is sick. It is sick. Honestly, the one that I might bump might be Marino, because we did them last night. But we're going to leave all of them on there for now. <laughs> They're all so good. I, I, can't, I can't sit here and eliminate any one of these helmets, because aesthetically, Colin, aesthetically, the second best looking helmet of the night 
is the Tomlinson, in my opinion. Even if it's not a flex, that Charger flash gets different it for me. Good. Like, aesthetically. I think we can squeeze them. Can we squeeze them? We can always put one over there and just keep it for the hit video at the end. Well, if we're squeezing. Ah, of course we're gonna put Donnie right or Jalen right front and center. Let's go, boys! Says Lou. What's up, Lou? Lou. Howdy, Gabe Cook. Uh, Gabe Cook in the house. What's going on? Uh, you know what happened in Gabe's first ever break? What happened? He waited patiently. He had one spot in the diamond double. He got himself uh, Tony Dorsett and Michael Vick with I one spot. That's pretty good. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And that is pretty good. That's the magic of the diamonds. The best break in the room, guys. No doubt about it. Um, great job, Michael Atrondo on the Aaron Donald flex. All right. We got another one coming up. Another diamond helmet. The first one in the new series. He says, I'm still pumped over it. There you go. Shout out to Gabe. All right, box 27, the hands team. What do we got in this new series? The hands team diamonds. Probably something good. It's the diamonds. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. No way. Yes way. No way. You're going to love this one, Colin. You're going to absolutely love this one. Donovan yeah. McMahon. Yeah. Uh, the two-tone green and silver, the green visor. Former Pro Bowl quarterback, Troy Sorensen, NFC East, Donovan Mug Nab. Oh what my gosh, Troy. What a day. What a day in the break room, man. The hits never stop coming. In this series especially, we got a Hydroflex Peyton Manning, a Steve Young Speed Flex. Uh, there's so much good stuff left. Uh, Troy Sorensen, headliner fire here. Uh, the green visor also hits different, Colin. One of the best dual threat quarterbacks. Uh, he says, that'll do. That'll do. Agreed. The custom McNabb. And that's not even the best Eagle quarterback of the show. Nope. Because the Jalen Hurts was even better. That's how you know it's a good day. Oh, my goodness. All right, I feel a little less you can bad drool. about your... You got the Mizzou hit. I got two Eagles hit. Yeah, you win, my right? My favorite player all time in our current quarterback. Oh, my one here. I'm all right with that. Yeah, I don't even know what we're going to do now with the video. Because then we could argue we could go custom helmets. And we go the amp breeze. We go the speed flexes and the two customs. We have decisions, Colin. We have a lot of decisions. And it's great to have it for sure. Troy got the Hertz Mini earlier as well. He's an eagle boy. He's cooking tonight. Absolutely cooking. Let's go, Troy. In the break room. We could do seven helmets in a hit video. I know that throws things off a little bit, Colin. It's Listen, the hit video is another conversation. The yes. desk is crap. Oh, the desk is right now? Uh, Marino. He's been on there the longest. He was on the desk all of last night. We pulled two Marinos last night, Colin. So maybe don't put them in the box, but set them aside. All right, Marino. Because we got two Lunars on there as well. And you don't even see him in the back, honestly. That's true. He's just, you can't even tell he's there. You let me, the let me right pull here. up the other camera so we can kind of see them all together. Let me see, generic intro. That, oh, look at this. I'm going to get rid of that one, too. Don't mess it up. Don't Come on. Up. Boom! Hey. There it is. <laughs> uh, all the lids together right there. Uh, glorious, glorious night. Now, here's that Merino lid. Uh, but look, look at that Tomlinson. That thing, that thing hits different, Colin. Make sure we can see everybody. Yeah, look at these lids. Breezy. Uh, so. Probably not going to pick up JJ a little harder. <laughs> I'll pick, I'll pick him up. I'll pick him up nice and heavy. J.J. Watt speed flex. Uh, so incredible stuff tonight, guys. And plenty more incredible items still out there if you guys want them, right? Sick. I'll swap you eagles because I'll put this one on the desk. Yeah. Because I still think this is the hit of the show. Yeah, baby. Not a speed flex, an Axiom, as William pointed out. Uh, the new Axiom helmets do have that different look to them. Very clean. My guy. Yeah. Donnie. The reason I'm an Eagle fan. My favorite Eagle of all time. Really? Donovan McNabb. I didn't know that. No, second. Him and J-Mac, then I Macklin. Say, I figured it was Jeremy Macklin, but... Although, I, I, I gave John Sutter a gift card for guessing Sproles as my third favorite Eagle ever, but this guy's making me reconsider that. Ooh. That's my all-time Eagle rankings. John, you owe us money. <laughs> yeah, John. <laughs> bring, bring back the You're gift card. You're actually wrong. <laughs> uh... 
Because I forget how many guys played for them. Ah. So. Good Lord, they just scored so many runs late. Who did? All of them. Oh. Six to three. But Great. Okay, that's okay. They've scored, they've scored six runs in three innings. Well, Golden State is down early, but plenty of time to change that. Plenty of time. So. It's fine. So, so Everything is for sale for the right price, Colin says Troy, right? <laughs> right. He's, he's tempting you, right? Yeah, well. He's tempting. I mean, I, the right price is probably not my price. Yes. I'll just say that. It's probably I mean, fair, whatever you would ask for it. But uh, Yeah. I don't think it's it's in my price range. Colin would rather get it for like 90 bucks in our break room or something, yeah, right? Yeah, right. I'd rather do what you guys are doing. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Low risk, high reward, Colin. Mm -hmm. Low risk, high reward Bucking here in the rats, break room. This thing is pretty, man. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's get him with the top to bottom rundown. We'll refresh the break page, uh, see what else we might be doing. I mean, I would say, look, I always say this, Colin. When the going is hot, when the brakes are hot, that is when you jump in to make things happen, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the key. Uh, don't wait. Get in there right now while the break room is hot. Uh, so we got ourselves uh, three to go uh, on the baseball double box. Again, guys, uh, we should be doing a baseball break with these massive names left. Mookie Betts, Sammy Sosa, Pedro Martinez. We've got a couple of secondary headliners. Billy Wagner, Paul Molitor, only 12 boxes left. It's only a six-spot break. One in six chance to win with each spot you buy. You know, former MVPs, former Cy Young Award winners like Pedro. A lot of good stuff in the fastball baseball mixer. Uh, I would say the college is worth a shot. There's only five boxes left, Colin. That includes Jerome Bettis on that Notre Dame Gold Authentic. And that also includes the secondary headliner, Jim Kelly. So it's actually a 40% chance at a headliner in the college. Definitely worth running that back. Uh, Diamond Helmets, the hands team. Again, one box from the old, one box from the new. And we have everything but McNabb in the new now. So McNabb did go, but quarterbacks galore. Justin Herbert, by the way, number two all-time in passing yards per game. Uh, only guy ahead of him, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, so Herbert's a fantastic player. Uh, beautiful Charger Flash uh, for Justin Herbert. Uh, we do have the Steve Young Ripped Speed Flex, uh, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Uh, by the way, Steve Young, two MVPs, a Super Bowl MVP. Uh, resume for him is incredible. Actually threw more touchdowns uh, to Jerry Rice than Joe Montana did, believe it or not, right? Yeah. Now look at that helmet. That thing is sick. It's got that silver rip with the gold. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks ever, the best lefty. Uh, that thing is insane. Uh, even more insane is the five-time NFL MVP, Peyton Manning. Nobody has more than him, and that record is going to be tough to top. I think Rodgers has four. I think he's done winning MVPs. I mean, Mahomes has two. That'd be the one guy, Colin. Does have a long way to go, but, I mean... NFL voters, they don't love giving the same award to the same guy multiple times. They really don't. That's how much Peyton Manning stood out. Think about this. Tom Brady played, what, 20-something seasons? He only got three. So I know Brady's got the rings and all, which tough to argue against. But as far as the regular season, I don't know if there's been a more successful player than Peyton Manning. Hard to find one. He still has the single-season passing touchdown record, 55 of them. A Peyton Manning Hydro Speed Flex with the visor. Uh, we also have on the back of the helmet number 18. We have the Pro Football Hall of Fame sticker, the Super Bowl stickers. Uh, that helmet, uh, easily $1,000 or more in value. Can be one for as low as 180 bucks, And you can still pair him with the uh, Will Anderson left in the old series, Colin. So Manning still lurking. We got Terry Bradshaw, four-time Super Bowl champion. We got Warren Sapp on the slate, uh, one of the best defensive players ever. We got the GOAT tight end, Tony Gonzalez. Uh, we got a future Hall of Fame quarterback, Matt Ryan. You and I both agree, former league MVP. Uh, we got Eddie George. He was on the cover of the first Madden game I played, Colin, uh, back in Madden 01, I think it was. And then all our Cowboy fans out there, 
the glorious Troy Aikman. Now, there's only a handful of quarterbacks, Colin, that were drafted number one overall and are in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I think it's John Elway, Troy Aikman, and Peyton Manning. I believe that's the list. I might be missing somebody, but I think that's the list I looked up recently. Number one overall quarterback picks that are in the Hall of Fame right now. You may look that up and confirm. Uh, but it's not many. Uh, definitely not many. Which speaks to both of those guys delivering under pressure. What are you coming up with? Is that list right? Or am I, am I lying? See, I saw that same list, and that one is a little bit old because Manning wasn't on it. But I believe it'll confirm what I have. I see Terry Bradshaw. Brad? Well, he's in here, too. <laughs> so <laughs> I missed out. one. So number one, we'll call this the number one overall picks uh, to the Hall of Fame for quarterbacks. There you go. Yep, I think it's right, though. So it's Bradshaw, Aikman, Manning, and Elway. And they're all here. Except for Elway. Except for Elway. Except for Elway. Come on, John. Come on, John. Why can we get you in this series, man? Uh, it's the hands team, uh, Diamonds. The one and four is two to go. As JJ will tell us, it has been two to go for the whole show. Uh, we still have the Hakeem Olajuwon basketball, the Miguel Cabrera bat, and we got your boy Steve Iserman and my guy Gary Payton, uh, one of the best perimeter defenders of all time. Great scorer, two assist guy, the glove. Uh, we got five to go in the college single. Uh, one in five chance at Jerome Bettis in the next box. One in six chance to win the break. Uh, all aboard the bus, pro and college football Hall of Famer. That is worth getting. Uh, many helmets are the chase tonight. Uh, we pulled Hertz and Sanders, but Theismann, Earl Campbell, Randall Cunningham, Debo Samuel, Tony Dorsett, TJ Hawkinson, AJ Green, and the first running back ever with 1,000 rush yards in the same season, as well as 1,000 receiving yards, the great Roger Craig. Niner fans, Debo and Craig, NFC West, one spot, two W's, Colin. Knock them both out. We just knocked out the jersey break. All the headliners left. You see the names right there, headlined by Jordan Love, Jalen Hurts, uh, two awesome current guys in the Love Hurts jersey series. Six to go in the diamond single in the old series, and five to go in the baseball single. Uh, so who's in this old diamond, by the way? The single? The single, yeah. We've got... Pat Rich with two. So, Pat, if you would like to, if you're listening, we are more than happy to take your two spots in this single and throw them in the diamond double where it's one and one from the old and the new series. Then we will just have the double up until we close out the old diamonds. If you're listening, Pat, because all the photoed headliners are gone in here, uh, all the photoed headliners, Bud McNabb, still out here in this break. So, break page is kind of open, Colin. Uh, so, this could be the last break of the night unless these guys start attacking. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I don't see why we should knock out the baseball or the one and four, but they've been two or three away the whole program. If it was like live break four, I'd be like, let's give them 10, 15 minutes. But it's been probably three to go for about the last 30, 40 minutes. So, guys, you want to knock out these breaks, get these orders ASAP. We'll go to at least 940 no matter what, Colin. We got to do the next break. We got to do the chase wheel spin. We got to talk kid of the show. We got, so things we'll, to do. we got things to do. We'll revisit this break page in 10 minutes at 940. If something is full, we'll break it. If we're like one spot to go, I'll give them a little bit more time. If we're still where we're at right now, we'll hop off at 940. Uh, Central time, that is. I know 1040 for some guys out on the West, East Coast, rather. So Chris, Will, Christopher, Rudy, David, and Omar in the jersey break. Jersey single number two. Go ahead and drop me a box number, guys, for our jersey break. My Matt Ryan appreciation post, if you will. Yes, hit me. He is tied for fifth for the most passing, uh, 4,000 yard passing seasons. Of course. He's got 10 of them. Aaron Rodgers has 10. Peyton Manning and Tom Brady have 14. Drew Brees has 12. And the other guy that has 12, another underappreciated quarterback. Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers. I knew it. Yeah. Yeah. That like That's the company Matt Ryan is keeping right now. Literally four of the best quarterbacks of all time. Seventh all-time in passing yards. Matt Ryan in our break room. 
uh, seventh all-time Colin, and he is also, by the way, ninth all-time in passing touchdowns. So yeah. he is no question a Hall of Famer for me. Uh, also, how will we almost never get in the break room? Uh, where's Craig Crenshaw at? He's a Falcon fan. He always says, I want the NFC South. I want a Falcon filler. How about a Falcon headliner? Uh, get the NFC South, get a Falcon headliner, right? Yeah, I mean, it's on a Chief, but Tony Gonzalez, longtime Falcon great. Yeah, as well. He's still in there. Uh, Matt Ryan was his quarterback at one point. That's right. He's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. So I'll give you guys about 20 seconds on a box number. Otherwise, we'll go to the wheel here to the side. And that Diamond Series, you know, I think this is going to be absolutely on fire during tomorrow night's show. I mean, we could get it on fire now, but we know this, Colin, takes a show or two sometimes to clear out the pairing series. But once this whole series is in by itself, it's going to go real fast. It's a wrap. I, I don't even think that series will be here by Saturday, to be honest with you, Colin. That's how good that Diamond Series is. Well, it's only out of 32. So exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. You know, real fast. Jersey out of 35, though, right? Yes. So let me pull up the 1 to 35 wheel here. And let's see what Jersey box number we're doing. Could be the last break of the night, guys, unless you guys jump in. It is now or until tomorrow. Uh, box six in the jerseys, Colin. I know Omar just called 23, but he was a little bit late. Once the wheel goes up, all box numbers are final. Uh, that is the rule. The only time I would ever change that, Colin, if one person has the entire break. Uh, that is the only time I would make the exception. Because obviously, you know, what if this box is different than whatever his is? The guy that would have had the NFC North, would have had the uh, Jordan Love, creates all sorts of issues. We've seen it happen in the past, so we are going with six because uh, the wheel is final. It's not even once the wheel is spun, it's once the wheel is up, Colin. It is uh, official. But thank you, Omar, for the box call. Uh, hopefully next time we get that in time. Uh, good to have Omar in the break room, big yeah. time Niner fan. You know, to be honest with you, Colin, we don't get Brandon Ayuk all that often in the break room. Uh, that's a nice jersey potentially for Omar in this break. So six clicks. We got David Jackson, Action Jackson in the NFC North. NFC South is Chris Ripka. David Jackson has the NFC East. Uh, we got Rudy Whalen in the NFC West. Christopher Taylor, the AFC North. Will Junkie, AFC South. Omar Ramirez Nieves, AFC East. And we got Chris Ripka in the AFC West here. Box six coming up. Six out of... 35. Ooh! It's a good one. It's a Hall of Famer. This is on a Chief jersey this time. I get to do one of my favorite things in the break room, Colin. One of the things you absolutely love oh, to see boy. me do. Here we go. Chris Ripka, you've been mooned. Yeah, Warren sure. Moon. Yeah, sure uh, he's been mooned. Hall of Fame 06. The first black quarterback inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Colin. Nine-time Pro Bowler. He was a Canadian quarterback as well. Canadian Football League Hall of Famer. Five-time, five-time Grey Cup champion. Uh, former Grey Cup MVP as well. Chris Ripka, AFC West, Warren Moon. Boy, you're talking about another quarterback if you look at his entire playing career. Yeah, I think I always, I've seen the stat. I believe if you add up the uh, Canadian yards and the NFL yards... I think he's like fifth or sixth all time in yards. I've said it before. I gotta crunch the numbers again. I believe it's Brady, Manning, uh, Favre, and Marino, the only guys ahead of him, and Breeze as well, in total passing yards. Colin, Jeez. that's that's, that's crazy. It, huh? That's elite company. An elite company right there. A guy I would say we were talking about this with was it Alex yesterday? <laughs> Alex. Uh, the uh, the list of the underappreciated guys in the break room guys that should get more love than they do and we have four of them on the desk maybe even five uh warren moon is definitely one of them drew Brees is one because we had a diamond series with like eight boxes left nobody was chasing drew Brees. jalen hurts is one i know this helmet they were chasing because of how cool it is colin uh, we've seen jalen hurts be disrespected and then aaron donald and J.J. Watt, because defense in general, 
Uh, doesn't usually sell. Nope. Uh, I mean, we saw it with Donald. Seven boxes left. Nobody going after that one. So this is the uh, all underappreciated team here in UA on our desk today. Uh, so. Can I throw in another one? Yeah, hit he's me. He's not in the break room right now, but okay. Terrell Owens. We don't even get him that much. Oh. But he's always disrespected. I don't no know doubt. T.O. is fantastic. Yeah. Because he doesn't sign often, by the way. That's why we don't get him often. So there you go. All right, let's see how close the mini break is right now. Mini break is seven to go. So we are knocking out the mini chase wheel spin. We are one to go on the one and four single. Pain. <laughs> Who got the spot? Uh, Kevin Matheson. Oh. Come on, guys. One and four. I'm a little bit... You know, given how slow that break goes late, of late, sometimes it's the hottest break in the room, Colin. But that one spot could take a hot minute. So let's get that knocked out here the next five to ten minutes. And if it's not knocked out around that time range, Colin, that'll be a yeah, cool. Kevin's, Kevin's got you. He got us? I think he got it. Thank you, Kev. A one in four single was gone. That's not the one JJ's in, though. He's in the double, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you, Kev. And that one and four break, Colin. Again, it's so cool. It's slept on. There's so many cool things. That is the number one most slept on break in the room is the one and four once the football helmets go. We always talk about it. They love the custom football helmets. When those are out there, the one and four is the hottest break in the room. As soon as those names go, it goes to the most underappreciated break in the room. Uh, so one and four... Kevin says, no problem. Thank you, Kev. Pat and Paul in here as well. Is this the cycle, Colin? I think it is. Yeah, the cycle. At least one oh, of every wait. break tonight. Do we do baseball? Oh, we... And we didn't do the one that's the, actually the series the cycle's named after, Colin. Yeah, I don't think we did baseball. Oh, <laughs> tough. That's tough. That's not funny, but kind of funny. That's three spots to go i'll drop the link and maybe someone gets it done here it's ironic that is very ironic extremely ironic in fact weird uh, one in four single number one go ahead and drop me a box number but then we'll do the chase for the minis next after this it's also chad johnson who has the personal by the way oh that's that right jersey. Okay, so we'll do that as well. I almost forgot it's, about it's that. His, I think it's like his second order. So I don't know if he's out there or not. So I know we've done this before, too, where we're like, hey, that guy's not out here. And then he's like, I'm here. He's been waiting the whole Ocho Cinco's in our break room. Chad that, Johnson, the wide receiver. That Chad Johnson. I figured. Cool. Warriors back in front after one quarter. Two points. They'll cover 14, Colin, I believe. I hope so. I, I did... I did kind of voodoo hex your, your other bet, and I feel a little bad about it. That's okay. I do like the Warriors, and they need to win, so I'm all right with that. Let's go. Let's make it happen. The Mizzou helmet's off the desk. My wrath has seized. That helmet was so cool. No, it wasn't. It was so cool, <laughs> no, it Colin. <wasn't. laughs> it's only the second Mizzou helmet I've ever pulled. It was Nick Bolton in a black and blue, and now Brady Cook. I do like Brady Cook a lot more. You know, before. we need to get... You know, we're talking about receivers... Well, Luther Burden III is going to be a big receiver recruit in the next NFL draft. Mm -hmm. He's just a sophomore, Colin. Yeah, he was ridiculous. just a sophomore. He's going to be a first-round pick as well. That so, guy is kind of ridiculous. That's who we got to get, Matt. Luther Burden III. Write the name down and get the helmet, right? I kind of like him, too, actually. He's, he's and he awesome. he went to Mizzou or goes to Mizzou. He's awesome. So I feel a little dirty, a little yucky. That's okay. Everybody's got a guy they like. Of uh, the opposition team. They don't want to say it, but they like him. That's my guy. Luther Burden the third. Yeah. I'm trying He's to think fun of, to watch. I mean, for me, I liked... Um, who was it that I liked a lot? I mean, because I, he was a bull. Kirk Heinrich is a Kansas guy. I like Kirk Heinrich. Uh, he's fun. Captain Kirk. Secretly like Luka Modric on Real Madrid, and I'm a Real Madrid hater. So there's always that guy, Colin. What about killing Mbappe? No. What's wrong like with him? him? His ego? Oh, come on. That's what's wrong. It's not It's not as bad as Ronaldo's. It's He's like a mini Ronaldo. He's a <laughs> mini me. How about box one in the one in four? Shout out David Griffin. 
Uh, we actually do have box one, Colin. Well, he'd be so proud. We also had box 40. I was like, it's going to land on one we have. And sure enough, box one, it is for the one and four. Uh, Chad Johnson is the jersey personal, right? Yes. So we'll do the jersey personal, then we'll do the mini chase wheel spin. We'll talk about our hit of the show. Uh, so I'll give him a little more time then. Let's revisit this at 9.50. All of this should take, give or take about 10 minutes. If it takes seven or eight, I'll give him a couple more minutes extra. But if nothing is full, or at least not one or one spot away or so, 9.50 will be the show. 9.50. About 9.50. Uh, so six clicks. We got Kevin up top in the football spot. Pat right below in the basketball spot. Uh, we got Kevin in the baseball spot. Paul's got the everything else spot in our one and four break. One of 40 here in the one and four series. Kind of fitting box one. The David Griffin box has the David Griffin special. A Funko. It's a Funko. Ooh, here's something different. We got Val Kilmer Ooh. on the Doc Holiday Funko oh, Pop. Oh, let's go. You like that one, Colin? Yeah, Tombstone, baby. Uh, I haven't seen Tombstone oh, personally. It's the best but, Western ever. Uh, let me know. what what are you, The best Western ever? Yeah, Doc Holiday is like one of my favorite characters in anything. Well, Paul Martino has the Doc Holiday Tombstone Funko Pop. That's sick. That's cool. Something different, right? Shout out, Paul. That's amazing. Yeah, Val Kilmer autograph. Now, I'm I, do, Huckleberry. I do know, wasn't Val Kil Kilmer a Batman at one point? He was a Batman, yeah. He was a Batman. He was also so. uh, Iceman and Top Gun. He's been in a lot of stuff. All right, legend. Nice autograph. Uh, not, not one of actually, I don't think, have I? Have we had Val Kilmer? We've had multiple Batman. I don't know if we've had him before. I want to say we have. Had. I know we had Christian Bale. We've had George Clooney. George Clooney. I want to say we've had Val Kilmer, but I cannot say for certain. Yeah. Either way, Josh says Tombstone's a great right? movie. It's, oh, it's so good. Well, sounds like I got to add it to my list. You should Colin. watch it. I'm not even a big Western guy, and it's like one of my favorite movies. Okay. And he right. he is incredible, and Doc Holliday is such a good character. All right, he I'll just plays like, it out. He's like the cool cowboy. And this is the, the cool series with the unique stuff, right? I mean... You're not getting something like this in our other series, Colin, that's yeah. for sure. That's like, I mean, outside of all the evil stuff, that's probably my favorite hit we've had. Interesting. And that's what happens in the one and four. I love this series. Right? It's just, it is the fun series, like you said. It is, it is fun. No doubt about that. All right. Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco, the all-time great Bengal receiver. Uh, he is not in the room. We're going to go ahead and randomize his box. Uh, jerseys out of... 35, Colin, I believe. So let's throw this randomizer up. Let's spin this bad boy. We've got number three in the jerseys. Number three. My it was boy. almost two, which we already did. So that's kind of funny. But we should have three. Uh, that is the personal for Chad coming up. And then the break page again, guys. Still three to go in the baseball break. Two to go in the one and four double. Otherwise, mostly open. So this will be it here, unless somebody closes up these breaks here real quick. I mean, you get the, you get three spots in the baseball double box, Colin. Get yourself a 50% chance to win, get two items. You could be sitting pretty, right? Absolutely. Uh, that's not a bad play. I mean, you get Mookie Betts, Pedro, Sosa. Any one of those would be nice. All right, Chad Johnson, box three here in the jerseys. We've got a Cowboy Great, Cowboy Hall of Famer, Randy White, Hall of Fame 94. Another one of those great Cowboy defensive players from back in the day, Bob Lilly, Randy White, all all-time legends. Uh, Nice-looking jersey there, Chad, on Randy White. That is JSA certified there. HOF 94. HOF 94. That's the year that Bulgaria got fourth place in the World Cup, Colin. You would know that. Shout out, 94, baby. Uh, the top year for Bulgaria athletics ever, Colin. So, good job, Randy White. Big year for him. 
Hall of Famer in 94. That's when... Or he was celebrating Dallas winning all those Super Bowls in the 90s. And William says, nice pull. Nice pull indeed, William. Randy White. All right, I'll write this down here. And I'm guessing Kevin might be behind on the stream because he did call box three for the one and four. Uh, but that one did happen, Kev. Uh, we just did it. You didn't win, unfortunately. But if you do want to get into more one and four, we only got two spots to go on that double. If you want to get the two spots there and close up the double as well. Because that break is fire. Chad Johnson. You think it's the wide receiver, Colin? Yes. It could be. It, I don't see why it wouldn't be. I mean, it definitely makes sense. He's got money to spend. He's got time on his hands. He's not playing now. He's here in the break room. Yeah, the World Cup's over. The World Cup is over. All his great analyst work uh, does make sense. All right, John down the gym for the Chase Wheel Spin for the mini helmets here, guys. Chase Wheel Spin in the minis. Six times on the way. Top name after six uh, gets that wheel spin. I mean, the biggest winner, arguably, in the break room tonight, Roderick Agmata. He got the Jalen Hurts for one spot. I think it was a double, so he paid 92 bucks. And now he's about to get some money back, Colin. I think he'll take that. Uh, Roderick, let us know what number you want to start on. Otherwise, we will start you on one, sir, on your wheel spin. Anywhere from one to 100. What a day it's been for Roderick. He says... One is fine. All right, Roderick. Let's run this bad boy. Let's see how much it gets better. All right, it's pretty good. It is 56, the Lawrence Taylor number. $56 gift card coming your way, Roderick. Sent. Uh, so that is already sent to your email. Again, guys, five to go on that baseball break single. The double is three left. Uh, real quick, this new Diamond Series is incredible. Every single headliner left but the McNabb. One box from the old, one box from the new. I would suggest getting in the hands team. No doubt about that. Whether it's tonight, whether it's tomorrow, this is the break to play. Uh, cool, thanks, says Roderick. You're welcome, sir. All right, let's run these down. This is going to be... Number one. Number one, Jalen Hurts. It's an axiom. It's got the uh, Hurts so good. And it's, of course, it's a one of one. Only one of these out there. Uh, right there, this is hit of the show. Yeah, number two's actually not even on the table. He's over there. McNabb? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm kind of surprised you're even considering it. <laughs> if I'm being truthful, okay. outside of the player, let's take personal bias out. It's probably like four at best. Which one? McNabb. McNabb? Yeah, JJ's got to be two, in my opinion. I was going to say JJ's number two because that blue visor hits different. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I love the blue visor. Not one we see often. It's a speed flex. That is my number two. I'm going to shock you with my three and four. I'm going to take a guess. Okay. Three. Three. Flash Authentic. Love LaDainian Tomlinson. I love this uh, Flash my personal favorites of course you know probably the donald is worth more the marino is probably worth more four how'd you know i just had a feeling that's what it was gonna be <laughs> uh, breeze will be my number four it's an amp it is cool this is a full-size rep i don't care Con. it looks the same number five number five mcnab yay <laughs> he that's, made it <laughs> that's I, I mean look that lid the green i love mcnab and honestly the only reason why you know, I could easily make this guy the number one hit of the show, period, Colin. But I saw two Marino Lunars yesterday. So I'm going to put him at seven. I'll go Speed Flex Donald six. Wow, there you go. With the gold visor, this is phenomenal. I mean, love Aaron Donald. Uh, look, beautiful lid. And then I'll go Marino. I mean, again, Marino, these are all close. It's not, I mean, Hertz is a no-brainer. After Hertz, you could go... Anywhere two to seven. I think all of them are fairly even in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, it's it's tough. It, it's nice when you have these kind of questions because there's yeah. a lot of options here. Now here's the Jalen Hurts helmet as well. 
Ah, uh, so that's got me. Would you? Would you? What would your order be? Probably. I mean, just because they're speed flexes, I'd probably go Hertz, Watt, Donald. Okay. Then I'd probably go LT. Then I'd probably go McNabb. Then I'd go Marino. Then I'd go Breeze. Just because okay. it's a rep. I'm not yeah. even talking about names. You're like our customers. You're yeah. you're you're you got this rep bias. I, I mean, look, I'm just I'm just. That's okay. No, I'm that's how they are too. I, I, look, for me, I I don't care that much about it. I don't even care that much about the hit video because they look almost the same. They do look almost uh, the same. So I they display so similar. That that's why I'm a breeze guy. If you're keeping two, I know the authentics are worth more. I mean, I guess someone doesn't want the face mask, but you don't really see that. No. Uh, when you display Colin. All right, fine. We'll put Drew Brees over Dan Marino on my list. All right. You talk me into it. And I think three, six, yeah, we'll talk after the show what we'll put in the video. Marino might not put him in the video because he was in last night. That's the only reason. Otherwise, he's definitely video worthy. He was in last night. Uh, JJ with a little hockey update. The Bob Boulay here. Uh, Sidney Crosby wow. with his 1,000th assist tonight. There we Shout go. Shout out to Sid the Kid. Sid the Kid, all-time legend. He is. One of the best to ever do it that mm -hmm. I've seen. Uh, so, I mean, probably is the best that I've seen personally. You know, I didn't get to see Wayne Gretzky. Is he the best player since Gretzky? Probably. Probably. I mean, Probably. him or Ovechkin, very different players, but... I know Crosby's a little bit more well-rounded. Until Connor Bedard gets going. I hope so. Uh, we'll have Gretzky and Bedard in the break room soon, by the way, Colin. So. The cat's out of the bag, y'all. cat's out of the bag. Hockey fans unite. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> There's hockey fans, but when there's hockey stuff in the room, nobody gets in. So, we'll see. We never had the great one, though. That's true. Or and Bedard. Even a non-hockey fan would get in for him. Yeah, right. Uh, that's for sure. So... I think this is a good sign-off point. Any final thoughts from you, Colin? Great show. Love the Jalen Hurts. Yeah. So glad I got to see it. It was more than 40 boxes, right? Uh, or was it a little... It 37? 33. Really? Really. Okay, I mean, I guess practice squad was a lot. It was a lot. It was It was actually 22 straight practice squad. <laughs> makes sense. 22-0 run the practice squad in the break room. Uh, makes a lot of sense. All right, Colin, that'll do it for us tonight. Thank you so much for co-hosting, producing, doing a great job as always. Thank you so much to the customers for watching, for chatting, for buying. You guys make this break room special. Uh, that's why we're here. I'm back tomorrow at 6. You're back Monday. Monday at noon. Monday at noon. Uh, we're here as a team, though, every single day, 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Central Time, right here at Ultimate Autographs, guys. Have a great night. And we'll see you soon.